everybody. <laughs> yep, we are. I heard, I realized uh, I had the audio on for the stream, so I heard everything, and I and I was like, what, what, what is this? Uh, but we're good now. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to our eighth episode. Yes, <laughs> that is episode eight. We are officially uh, two months in uh, to Descent into Avernus. Woo! <gasps> Woo! <laughs> uh, I am Miss Magitech, of course, and these are my friends. We have DM, Dungeon Master, Glorious George, and my fellow players below, Helveticat, who is playing Amira, our uh, our telepathic sorcerer. Mm -hmm. um, and then below, uh, we have, oh wait, uh, who is below? Johnny, right? Yeah. I was like, Just is hi. it? Actually, is it <laughs> we have Andrew playing Johnny Hellfire who is our hot-headed uh, barbarian who also likes to say one-liners mm -hmm. when he rages and other mm -hmm. moments. And then finally, we have High Jump, who is playing Mouser, the brother to Johnny. Uh, and he is our- All you got to say for me is Johnny's <laughs> brother. <laughs> got it. Hi, hi, he's Mouser, Johnny's brother. <laughs> that's it. Sorry, that's <laughs> the end, that's it. Uh, he was our resident fighter who has now uh, gotten some mysterious powers and a mysterious bird and a mysterious sword called Vilefan. Um, it's the word. That, yes, that we're all very confused about. So, that's us. That's the party. Uh, mm -hmm. But who are we? Who are we the players? Uh, we are a bunch of co-workers that have been playing D&D &D &D together for many years, and we decided to bring our games from the table, slash we were playing online all of last year, and bring it to stream. So uh, we're really happy that you could be here and join us for our first full streamed D&D &D campaign. Um, before we jump into the session, hey, thank you, Archon, for the bits. Yes, we uh, we like to show our cats whenever we can on the stream. So this is a cat friendly and dog friendly, but I don't think any of us have dogs. But it's better than I, her crying Dog consistently. Will be in July, so you'll get oh. to see him. <gasps> he is a corgi. Oh, corgis are adorable. So you already know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you're watching this via YouTube or VOD, um, we do go live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. So if you would like to join us, uh, feel free to join at that time. Um, if not, feel free to also leave a comment on the video. Let us know how you're enjoying the campaign. Uh, give us a tweet or message us on Discord and just let us know how you're enjoying it because we like to hear from folks online uh any of you who just want to tell us how you've been enjoying the campaign we really appreciate it and that that kind of stuff does mean a lot to us we have two games that we run on this channel also so if you can't make it for this one you can of course tune in on sunday to our icewind dale rhyme of the frost maiden campaign that's on sunday at 3 p.m pacific so yeah we have two dd campaigns that we run on this this channel uh, so feel free to join us when you can and uh, other things that we have to talk about before we jump into it, uh, we have been streaming this uh, for quite a few weeks now, and we have finally decided to get some character art. So right now you can see we're using uh, portraits from Hero Forge. If you go to heroforge.com, you can make your own little minis and color them. And it's great because we've been using Hero Forge since we started playing D&D uh, years ago, and we love Hero Forge. Um, but we want to get actual character art of all of our characters. And we did find an artist recently who is working through all of the characters. Uh, he has started on the Icewind Dale characters right now, and we're getting the initial sketches and colorings, and then he'll be starting on the Avernus characters. So if you feel so inclined to support us, send us a, a tip. Uh, the links are below. Um, that money will go toward commissioning the artist. We're kind of paying out of pocket right now, but if a few people have been very generous and uh, sent us uh, a little bit, we are going to be putting that toward the, uh, the character art and commissions and additional production value. We eventually want to get a software that makes it a lot easier <laughs> for us to, you know, stream this and not have audio issues with Discord and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, get better video quality and all that stuff. So some things that we're kind of our, our long-term goals since we will be doing this as a long-term stream if you feel inclined to support we will love you forever for it so forever. that and ever, ever. And ever. Because, <laughs> you know when you join the stream you sign a contract and you know you know how it goes from there that's true wait you guys sign contracts that's how johnny feels okay i'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even going to 
too. Uh, also, <laughs> next week we actually will be taking a break uh, yes. for Friday. So yes, oh, uh, perfect. Uh, yes. So oh yeah, you were AFK when George mentioned that. But for everybody's information, uh, next week we will not be playing. Um, we have a couple folks moving that weekend, so we're just going to take the weekend off. Um, but we will be playing Icewood Dale, so you can stick around for that, but no Avernus next week. So, just a heads up. Appreciate yeah. your patience. Uh, yep. And, uh, that's everything. I think that's all the announcements and housekeeping. So, George, take it away with the recap. Well, last week, um, after failing to impress the necromancer, you decide to set off and find a book that the necromancer uh, was seeking. Um, one of the places you knew to look was the Tower of Urm, which sat in the middle of a blood lake. You exchanged tales and some coin with a ferryman who escorted you along the way. You were challenged by demons who attempted to uh, basically take you uh, uh, as hostages or as food, possibly. Um, but Johnny challenged the leader one-on-one, -on -one, and eventually it broke out into an all-out brawl, and you guys were able to fend them off, and you even took their boat, much to the DM's disagreement, you took their <laughs> boat for oh. your own, only to realize <laughs> right then that none of you knew anything about sailing. <laughs> Doesn't matter, have a boat. <laughs> But right. we have equity now. Yeah. You you were able to get the boat moving because it's not a normal kind of boat, uh, and you were able to make it to the Tower of Erm. You were faced with a very peculiar puzzle uh, inside the lobby, as there were other Yugoloths, somewhat these kind of neutral fiends, hoping to get in. Uh, you were able to solve the puzzle and get into a corridor of hallways uh, descending down the stairs you met Morden Kanan the owner and uh, ruler of this tower and he was in the middle of working on a spell two of you um, uh, Johnny and Amira uh, snuck off to explore more of the tower and then a massive creature uh, invaded a fiend that apparently had been following you guys the entire time invisible attacked Morden Kanan and he let loose a fireball in a extremely small room urging uh, Mouser and Loza to run you fools and so you <laughs> ran and as you ran down the stairs you learned what Amira and Johnny had learned only moments before that this tower does not work like a normal tower and the stairs lead all in different directions. So you all ended up in uh, different places. Johnny, places. where did you end up? Do you remember? I ended up in a room with a cage with a bear in it, I believe. That's right. Yes, that's right. Wonderful. Okay, so bear you're there. Room. Bear room. Bear so, room. Bear room. It was Johnny that had the room with the bear. Okay. A room <laughs> with Don't a moose. I remembered that. I just pulled that out of the top of my head. I didn't even. <laughs> we will start with Loza, I think. Oh, God. Um, In the one tentacle room. room. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's not a tentacle room. But that's not entirely <laughs> inaccurate either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Nope. Can I get a six-digit code, that. please? Oh my god. Oh, I hate that. I said Here you what are. I said. I said what I said. Loza, you watch as this massive carcass with a million legs is crawling from one entryway to the other, which you just came from. You stumble down the stairs briefly next to this thing. It does not seem to be aware of you. This is not at all what I expected when you said the room. I thought it was like a little thing. It's huge! <laughs> it goes from one stair to the other, Crazy. and you don't see an end to it in either direction. Burn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to hack it. <laughs> oh, with my sword. important announcement. Oh my uh, the map you guys are seeing today is made by C and Piku, a amazing hey. map maker on Patreon. 
Uh, every single room is made by them. Uh, I saw this map set and I thought, this is a crazy map and I'm going to torture my players with it. So if you mm. like what you see, go there. Gotcha. They made all the map designs. I love that for us. Yes, I love Thanks. that. P please, please send me their email so I may cry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I file a yeah. Uh, <laughs> hello, my name is Nick. And like just <laughs> like this very angry, uh, it'd be hilarious. I would like to file a complaint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Send me a refund of three hours and pain so, and suffering. Loza. Yes. Uh, all right. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try to hack hack it with my sword uh it's just a plain short sword because that's all i have it you have a great sword my... oh it's a short oh okay. it's a great sword oh it's a great great sword okay are you, are you proficient two-handed uh, it's a I great great sword so. uh because it's it's its son had a child and then that <laughs> had a child so that makes this a great great sword mm. yeah. <laughs> it's a quality great great sword uh, let's see. Uh, I rolled a 12 on the great, you great sword. You kink! Your sword hits the bone and doesn't seem to make much of an impact. This thing seems magical in nature, and you wonder I... how effective your puny weapons will be against it. I have no paladin spell slots left because we haven't taken a long rest. Um, <clears throat> so... I guess I will Can I go to the stairs? Behind it or ahead of it? Uh, whichever looks better for me to squeeze. <laughs> uh, the stairs behind. going down look easier. Uh, uh, it looks the like the tail down. is in that direction. Bye. Does it look like it has sharp that edges? Uh, no, not the the te these do, uh, but they're busy walking. So down here, no, you seem to be fine. I can I ride it down? <laughs> you want? Oh, so you want to like kind of like climb down it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's not a problem at all. You do climb down it. Oh, okay. Uh, we will pick up with you uh, elsewhere. Uh, I meanwhile, really write it up with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> she just gets on top. She's like, "Leave me." <laughs> meanwhile, to the exit. Johnny, you are Bear here. Room. Bear, Bear room. Bear room. Uh, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with the atmosphere in this room. <laughs> I'm going to try to talk to the bear and see if it understands common, so to say. Uh, who, what are you? I am the great bear. Mm. I see that as well. Are you here to free me? Uh, maybe. Um, why are you imprisoned in the first place the wizard who runs this tower abducted me Morden from the beast lands Morden the home me. in which I ran free so do you, if I let you out First off, will you try to kill me, or will you try to kill Morden Kanan, or will you try to escape? Which one? I am a bear. What do you expect me to do? You will, of course, have my gratitude. It is does, that, does that mean protection, or does that mean you'll thank me and eat me? I will thank you. And? 
and we will part ways. Perhaps we could work together to get out of here. Perhaps. All right, is there an oath that you can take? So that way you don't immediately try to kill me or something? <laughs> Sir, it this is a bear. rustles its fur. <laughs> this is a Wendy's. What do you take me for? Uh, all right. It's a fucking bear. It's the, not even just it's the great bear. He has a grandchild. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Uh, We're all gonna die. All right, can, I, can I do an insight per perception check? Whatever. It's sure. A... Make an insight check. I want to incite the bear. Yeah. He says he's a, a bear. Seven. <laughs> he's, he's a bear, a bear. man. <laughs> he's a uh, oh, son of a gun. Oh, actually, I have, I have disadvantage on ability checks, so I need to do that twice. Oh, it can get worse. So much he's better. still a bear. <laughs> Still uh, a bear. Okay. All right. We have a deal. Let's. I'll let you out. You. We work together to try to get out of here. You will have to break the bars. And you see, the bars all have like sigils carved into them, like runes. They're all oh, made of like no. like a bamboo wood, though. I'll try to strike it with my sword. Okay. Make an attack roll. Nine. Uh, it's pretty easy to cut through it, especially. Uh, do you light your blade? Yeah. Yeah, your blade just <laughs> cuts through it. The bars fall apart. You idiot! <laughs> and the Goristo charges at you. Debated. <laughs> what would you like to do? I would like to run for the other stairs that I didn't come up from. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, make an athletics check. <laughs> Versus the Goristo. Oh, no! <laughs> A 14. A 14. One moment while I pull up the Goristo stat block. Uh, yeah, George, it's fine. George, why did you do this to me? You know I love... Creatures. That's exactly why he did it to you. <laughs> you did this to yourself. <laughs> the Grisro uh, rolled a 19. That 20 plus 7. So and there's three of them. We so will, we actually you run this. to the stairs and as you do your cloak, you suddenly feel a yank on it and you're like, huh? and you go yanking back yeah. towards this thing. This is why you don't wear capes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Me. No capes. It's true. Capes we will... Idea. Cut away to. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, now, sir. Library fun library. times. <laughs> Don't free the books. Free. <laughs> free us from Don't the shelves. Don't free the books. <laughs> Don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> um, I'd like to free the books. <laughs> You pick up a book off the shelf, and it's somewhat peculiar. The books, you start to read through them, they all look like gibberish. Hmm. Is there, I guess, is there anything else of note in the room? Like, I see some scrolls and whatnot. Can I, can I take a look around and see if there's anything yeah. I can uh, glean? Uh, walking around the room, there's this mirror here, um, which, ha like, it kind of reflects the whole room. Uh, and then there's some more books, another stair, and some more books. Hmm. What's in the... I guess, can I inspect, like, the, the bookcase in the top right? That seems like uh, it's, like, far out of its way. Like, yeah. If there's important sure. things, it sounds like there should be something there. Um, you head over there. Um, go ahead and make a investigation check. Investigation. Uh, or Arcana. It is worse. Ten. You, yeah, all the books, once again, they seem like they're all written in, like, a bizarre language that you are unable to read. Um, it's 
it's almost like it's written backwards and in reverse. It's very strange. Hmm. I guess um, I try and like study it or something like that and just see if there's like any like if I can make any sense of it, like given like a, like another check or something like that. Yeah, you can make right. Arcana. Uh, you said you did investigation this time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do Arcana next time. OK. Like now or later? Yeah. yeah. OK. Now. Uh, Twelve. While looking at this stuff, you you feel like either a spell is needed or like a tool is needed to read mm. these. Um, but as you're looking through them, it looks like various notes on arcane experiments. You're not able to like gleam any information from it because of all the, the changes of the words, but like the volume titles, they seem to be, um, a lot of the volume titles indicate particular floors of this tower and mm. like arcane experiments that were happening there. Gotcha, okay. So I can understand that like, you know, he's, the, the... This almost looks like a map of this place. Oh. Like, if you knew how to read these things, you might be able to determine where to go, for example. Interesting. Um, does anything seem like it references the the tons of mirrors that, that we saw? Uh, the... Oh, when you entered? Yeah. Um, nothing like that. You do see an experiment where... He was trying to reach uh, something from the plane of pandemonium. Um, mm. And that looks like the most recent entry. So, but again, you don't know much of that experiment or what the details were or even how to get back there uh, other than this volume, which indicates that's that's the one, but without being okay. able to read it. Yeah, I understand. Um, okay. Um, I guess. And is there is there only a stairwell up? There's a stairwell up which you came from. Oh, there's also oh, a stairwell that, going down right here. Oh, I, I thought that was another bookcase. Um, there is another bookcase right there though. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess. I guess I don't want to like waste too much time just exploring. But. Um. Yeah. Can I can I inspect the the other bookcase, the one with the scroll on it that's by the stairs down? I guess that's what they are. Yeah. Um. Give me I'm one fine, more like, investigation the... or arcana check. I'm, I'm full nerding on this. 15 this time. As you, you're like stumped and you're like, there's got to be something in here. You start looking at the scrolls. You start looking at the book. Something drops. Uh, you drop a book. And as you go to pick it up, you see in the mirror, the book is perfectly legible. Oh. Interesting. Um, I guess with that in mind, um, am I able to use the mirror to try and discern like I'm like the other the the initial book you told me about from the other bookcase, and try to understand like where in this tower I might be in? You're talking about the book that was like a map. That was like a map. Like I'm trying to want to find some way to navigate this tower. Let me tower clarify cause... this. This room is like a map. Each volume in this room oh. is a floor of this tower. <laughs> so That's if you wanted to than... find a particular place, you might be able to find it in this room. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. I don't know what I want to look for, like with that in mind. Fair enough. You uh, will contemplate heavily on that. Let yeah. me know if you have a decision. Meanwhile, uh, ba, 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 ba. Vanessa, Amira, you find yourself here in a room full of chests. You made one a different color on purpose. <laughs> All um, of them this. are this shade of purple, except one, which is this shade of blue. I do an arcana check on if they're like they've got like any spells or something on them go ahead roll an arcana check 
23. A frightening thought enters your mind. Two frightening thoughts. Either A, that blue chest in this room is a mimic. Or B, okay. which might be worse, all of the chests except for that blue one are mimics. Why would I want to open the chests? <laughs> That is up to you. They all look very pricey, and you know you are here looking for a book to help that necromancer. Treasure. Greed. Yeah, but I can't fight a mimic. <laughs> um... Not with that attitude, you can't. Yeah, Goonies never say die. What can I do here? Let's see. What do I have on hand? Um... Can I detect thoughts on the blue chest? You try to detect thoughts mimic... and you sense nothing coming from the blue chest. Okay. Can I do it on a purple chest? Sure. Roll a wisdom check for me because there's lots of purple chests in this room. 20, unnatural. Somewhere in this room is something deadly. Okay. But I Your instinct wasn't wrong, one. but you don't know what, if any. Well, you know one of them is, at least. Okay. And I came from downstairs? You came from upstairs. Okay. And you've kind of, like, walked here to, like, the center of the room. Okay. But I didn't get any feeling from that blue one, is what you're nope. saying. I just know there's one in the room somewhere. Okay. Yep. I will open the blue chest. Nice. You open the blue chest. Inside, you find a gem that is glowing blue. Okay. I guess, can I inspect it? Like, uh, Arcana check it? Yeah, you inspect it for a bit, and you become... You start to attune to it, and as you do, suddenly your vision, though impaired, suddenly clarifies. And suddenly you you feel magic coming from this gem to your eyes. Oh. <clears throat> I like where that's going. Is yes. that a good thing? <laughs> you look, and in front of you at the chest, nothing seems peculiar. Okay. And then if I turn around? As you turn around, you realize that this is, in fact, a gem of seeing, which allows you to see things as they are. And as you turn around, suddenly you can see the individual teeth of all of these sleeping mimics. And their eyes closed. One of them, its eyes flicker a bit. That was the one that you detected. It appears to be dreaming. Ah, wonderful dreams for the minute. I'm going to quietly walk down the stairs. Roll a stealth check. <gasps> Twelve. You Above ten. start to creep away. Uh -oh. And Didn't make one, of, when I walked in. <laughs> one of the chest one eye opens Another eye opens. Make another like stealth check. Continue mm. walking. Uh, 20. Unnatural. You start to creep down the stairs. As these, this one with its eyes opens, it like peers around. Its other four eyes still closed. And then it goes back to sleep Ooh, as yeah. you creep down the stairs. Roll a d10 for me. Uh, uh, 10. Let's see, hold on. Seven. Seven. Okay. Um, gosh. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I knew I I knew it as soon as he was like, "You're in a room full of chess." I'm like, "I'm in a room full of mimics." Uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm yeah. in danger. Do I need to use spell slots for uh, detect thoughts? Uh, yes. But very good use of that. I would say so. Mm-hmm. Is it once or twice? Uh, you just used it once. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's why I went to my spells. I was like, what do I have that could help me here? <laughs> oh, dear God. Just fireball secret. the room. <laughs> no, I don't have fireball. But I do have Misty Step, so I did have that in case I needed to really get out of there. Mm, that Misty nice. Step the room. I, I didn't want to use two spell, slot, spell slots if I didn't have to, because that's that would be both my second levels then. Hey, Gem of Seeing is a really good item. That's a nice mm -hmm. item to have. Especially for someone without eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my character! Alia, <laughs> as you're going Who? down the stairs... Alia? Who? I'm sorry, Alia. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Amira, as you're going down the stairs... Uh, Please make a deck saving throw. 17. 17. You start to go down the stairs, and as you do, you bump into something, and you almost go stumbling, but you're able to brace onto something. Loza, make a strength saving throw. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, a seven. You, something bumps into you as you're climbing on this tail and suddenly you, oh, and you start to tumble down the stairs and you, bam, fall onto the ground. You take six bludgeoning damage as Amira, you come out uh, at the top of the stairs behind her. You see what you almost tripped on was a massive tail. Oh my God. And you was find yourselves here. Yeah, you have no idea. You were walking and suddenly you almost bumped into this thing. And as you kind of like startled as it appeared beside you, you bumped into Loza, who you pushed down the stairs. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Are you OK? Uh, yeah, I'll be OK. Oh. <coughs> the tail of this thing with a large pointed like stinger is clapping on the ground drag her like down <laughs> like by the books you you pull her back you help her up i assume yeah no i leave her on the ground just drag her and be like <laughs> pick yourself up <laughs> um did you come from downstairs um upstairs but this wasn't upstairs there was a bunch of chests. They were bad chests. Don't go well, in the chests. Don't I, open I the chests. I, I was just in the room with that big thing. Um, it took up the whole room. Um, uh, it was, looks kind of gross. Definitely gross. What is this? Do I know what this is, George? <laughs> Roll a comma check. It's a 13. You have no idea. You've never seen anything like this before in your life. <laughs> she draws it anyway. <laughs> you start exactly. drawing it, and like Loza's like, no, it's bigger. It's bigger. It has legs. Like, and you're like, oh. <laughs> I just put like a big question mark at its head. Like, I don't know what yeah, I'm like, I haven't seen the head yet. <laughs> Let's not meet the head. Um, I now very peculiar. Uh, actually, I would say, Loza, roll a Arcana or intelligence check. Uh they are the same. Okay. Oh, I rolled a net one. Hey. Yeah. You you are you are completely confused by this whole thing. <laughs> Thought she's going to be like describing it like terribly or something like that. <laughs> Hold up the gem in the room and just look around. The room appears perfectly fine. This thing oh, is the there. It fine. is real. I meant the chest. <laughs> the chest look I trust fine. No chest. I will never trust the chest again. I never trust chests anymore in in these campaigns. I never trust okay. these three chests look fine. So Amira would just be like, uh the, the chests are fine. You you can look at them and she immediately turns to the bookcase, because let's be honest. <laughs> okay. Start making uh making an investigation check. Okay. Ten. 
ten. These are various notes. These are looks like wizard spell books. Um, they look like Can various, not like full spell books, but like they're like the notes. various teachings, practices, notes, like like a wizard scrapbook almost, like mm -hmm. a scratch pad of like this is a spell we could do theoretically, and lots of arcane theory on this shelf. Well, Amira would find that fascinating, so she would be taking notes on the notes. If okay. <laughs> and Loza? Can I look in the chests? Sure. Do I have, do I have to... Make a deck saving... No, I'm just joking. Oh, um... oh my god, my heart just like... And a bear shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> Seriously, I just had like a spike of anxiety. <laughs> In these chests, right you there. find various garments, clothing, it looks like. Um, various Wait. robes, various <laughs> cloaks, things Underwear. like that. <laughs> uh, this is probably all of Morden Kanan's just smelly robes. A I weird place to keep. Do you know who is the, you know his name? Oh, do I know his name? No. Do I know well, his... yeah, he introduced did himself. He, did he introduce himself? He introduced you himself to you. I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, he did say his name to all of us, and then that's when uh, we went downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Is he kept <laughs> spelling? Uh, there's nothing... Doesn't this, this freaking wizard have anything to help us get out of here? <sighs> what about the other chest? Uh, do you want to climb over the tail to get to it? Yeah. Do it. Okay. Do it. Make a deck saving throw. Bad idea. Because I'm a freaking paladin. Um, sorry, where's dex? There it is. Oh, 19. 19. You <laughs> narrowly dodge that blade and you get to the chest. Opening it up, there is one moment, please. Um you find inside of it a plus one short sword. Bless. A new sword. Bless up. Oh. Bless. Yeah. It is a oh, short my, sword. My however. great great sword isn't good enough. <laughs> I'm a paladin and I have no freaking weapons right now besides a standard great sword. Oh. That's all you are, Master. You just provide standard great swords. <laughs> You're Johnny's brother. You're just Johnny's brother. I'm gonna, if I ever get some sort of like holy relic, I think I'll just take it off. That's where I'm going. <laughs> Meany. <laughs> Short sword. Johnny, what? roll a d10. Oh. Uh, d10. Two. Two. All right. <laughs> you find yourself stumbling into um death. one moment death yeah that's it Roll just initiative. death <laughs> you die the, abyss. the end <laughs> well I'll you see find you yourself stumbling I'll into the river of sticks <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just his local pool <laughs> You stumble into this room after fleeing the Goristro. Uh, and why? What? The room of darkness. Yeah, this. And like you are in the <laughs> night sky. The, the literal <laughs> abyss. <laughs> Astral sea. <laughs> there it is. I there is not two of you. It's applied. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If for some reason that it wasn't room, giving would me your vision. But there we go. You arrive in this room. Uh, you have one level of exhaustion from yeah. the... I'm, I'm saying you get a new one if you didn't have oh, one already. I love that. I love that yeah. for me. Uh, as you are... Uh, uh, like the... The the brief brush with death with that Garistro, who, mm -hmm. as you fled from it, it said, I will hunt you down and devour your bones! But thankfully, it also can't navigate this tower. Perfect. Uh, I should also roll a d10 for the Garistro. That reminds me. Yeah, I figured you're gonna do that. Uh... Great, we're okay. gonna be like, ha ha, books! Oh no! Yeah. 
you arrive in this room, there are some barrels in the room, and in the middle of the room, there is a massive ice sculpture, like a large crystal of ice. And inside of it, you see are two metal gauntlets. Hmm, if only I had a... George knows how to tempt, dude. If only I had a sword that, you know, could light on fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to melt it with my sword. Okay. You hold the sword to it and cursed. slowly but surely it begins to melt. And you seemingly have no issue. You actually already see it was already beginning to melt as there's water all over the floor. Um, but yeah, you start melting it. Uh, and eventually you are able to free from it a pair of gauntlets. Um, <laughs> The great bear gauntlets. <laughs> they turn they into like two this. smaller bears. Oh, those are sick. Yeah, that that's not like ominous at all. Gauntlets. They're the sick. Gauntlets. You put them on, and you feel like this is part of a set. But this is only part of it. But as you put them on, you start flexing, and as you open your hand, you are able to produce flame. It's perfect. <laughs> and when you make a fist, your fist just burst into flames. That's hella cool. What are these called, George? I love them. These are called, they, uh, I'll have to add them into D&D Beyond later, but these are okay. called Salamander Flame Gauntlets. I love it. So I can, is it like... Uh... When you punch someone, you get to add a D4 of fire damage every time. Cool. And I can also... Can I do kind of like, uh, what is it called? The the flame spell where you just like, can I, is it similar to that if I like open my hand or is it not? Possibly. Like that? Okay. You will have to practice with them. Okay. Uh, is there anything else in the room? Nope. Seems pretty oh. basic. Pretty safe. Right. Oh yeah, you know, pretty basic. I'm going oh, right. to, I'm curious. I'm going to double back and come the way that I came from and see where it puts me. Roll a d10. Looks like it will put me in a random spot. Uh, da, 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 da. A one. A one. Okay, then. One moment. You're dead. <laughs> yes. I just got these awesome gauntlets. You're dead. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Mouser, what are you doing? Ah, uh, thank you for reminding me about the book. I completely forgot why we came to this tower other than for, you know, party boat. Um, is, can I see if there's like anything on the, uh, anything on the book? Is it the, it's not the book of the dead, but like the book that we're here to find. Go ahead and give me an arcana check. I think it's bio. Or investigation. A nine. I'm not rolling well tonight. You do find a room that specifically talks about Orcus. Mm. Go on. <laughs> um, I mean, that does ring a bell of, you know. It's a vial of apotheosis. Apotheosis, you say? Apotheosis. So you have this journal, essentially, that describes these you don't really understand all of it, but this weird ritual involving Orcus, and you know the kind of floor of where this, is. like you have the journal about this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess like in relation to like I I try I would want to make note of like what's if it if I understood it, like the the that all these books are effectively the map uh, to where we're at or to where everything's at. I would try to like make note of what was next to it so I would know like landmarks to look out for sort of thing. Like, oh, I it, it should be around here. I I I I know I don't know that the every floor You're is going to lead me to something sure different. You're not sure what things relation are to each other. Okay. But you know of this place. Okay. What would you like to do? Um, I guess with that I will you know, if I th if I think that's kind of like what I was looking for, then I would make my leave and you know, try to go. Uh, let's go down. 
All right. No, let's go up because that would I would know that we were at the top of the tower. Okay. Do you want to go to that place? Um. Yeah, I do. I want to go to that place. I want to see. It's like if like that's what I'm trying to find. Let's. With that in mind, okay. I want to go go up. You go up the stairs, and as you go up the stairs, you find yourself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in an empty cage room <laughs> <laughs> with a bear. <laughs> No bear this time. <laughs> you find yourself here. Respawn, just auto respawns bears. Oh. There are six uh, sort of braziers lit with flame and a weird pile of bones and a weird skull sitting in the middle of the room. Hmm. Blood looks like it's been painted on the floor in the shape of an eye. Interesting. Can I can I go back down the stairs thinking of thinking of let's see here. I was with Loza, so I would say like in my mind, like try to imagine a room with Loza in it, like trying to like see if if I could navigate it this way or if it's since all I had to know for this was a room okay. dealing with Orcus. One moment. Um, you will find yourself. Uh, oh my god, this map is so big. Where did I? Where did I put you? Oh, there <laughs> where you did I put these people? <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> that's not where you want to put them. <laughs> You'll find yourself in the middle of this <laughs> summoning <Orcus>. circle <laughs> again. <laughs> Your name is now Orcus, and uh, this is your new class, and uh, you're dead. <laughs> Got him. You roll hey. a deck saving throw. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not the right. <laughs> Almost. All right. I'm not saving for the 18. You narrowly avoid tripping as you find yourself in this room with this massive this thing just skittering across the floor and there's fire damage all over this room in fact there are fires all over the room you think this was the room that you guys originally showed up in that morton kane was in previously as the entire room looks like it's been burned badly hmm. interesting This thing skitters up the floors between the two stair stairs. Am I able to move again? Uh, if you wish, where do you want to go? To the library again. Okay. You will end up back at the library. Meanwhile, Loza and Amira, what are you guys doing? Uh, we would probably go down the stairs after yeah. we search that room. Okay. Yep. You both go down the stairs? Yep. Okay. Both you roll a d10. Shit, we're gonna get separated. That is a seven. As a six. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, okay. And a six, huh? Um, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> a six, huh? A six, huh? Are you, are you friends with bears? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you want to roll a six? I don't, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to roll to the book. <laughs> <laughs> the Orcus book. One moment, one moment. Loza, you find yourself here. This room has lightning shocking out of it, out of this massive blue crystal in the side of the room. The lightning almost hits you from where you're at, but you feel like at the stairs, you're safe. 
but lightning is just arcing from this crystal to the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to walk in. You that. see on the other side of the room, there's another set of stairs. And on the workbench, there looks like there's some gear lying on this workbench, but lightning <laughs> keeps shocking everything in the room. If you're quick and nimble, you might be able to get through unscathed, or you could just bear through the pain. Mm. Or you could just uh, nope right the fuck out of here. Loot, 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 loot. I'm going to attempt to um, to go through. You're just gonna yeah, run across? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna run across. You're gonna skip uh, the workbench? So if I try to like jump to the workbench, well, like, it's not. It... It's not like jumping. You would have to just move there. The lightning is just firing randomly around the room. All right, I'll, I'll risk it. You know. Okay. Let's take, let's take a risk. A Make a deck saving throw. Not my strongest stat. Oh, and that twenty. Look at that. You are able to make it to the workbench. On the workbench is a single gold ring, but also there are three large. They look like javelins but they have coils around them. And they look like they're imbued with some kind of magic. Oh, I will take a ring and a javelin. You're gonna take both? Yeah. All right, so you, you pocket the ring and you grab the javelins? Yeah. Okay, I would like you to, as you, where are you trying to go to, up or down? Down, I guess, yeah. Okay, I would like you to make your deck save at disadvantage. Oh boy, this is like a conductor or something. Yeah, so uh, he's he's gearing us for something. I'm getting worried. It's like know. the before the boss that you find it's all the, the chests. It's uh, the boss fountain. I rolled an eight. Eight. One moment, please. Oh God, you y'all, I might actually die in here. You might. <laughs> depending <laughs> depending on how much damage I take. So Welcome these the are the things you grabbed. Uh. Which yeah. they are oh, javelins like, and they're pretty like, dope, but they this... each have on them essentially a Tesla coil. Um, oh, why don't you put God. one by it and then just take two? You don't need three. Well, that's something she could have thought about before we got to this point. So, one moment, oh, please. No. Oh, uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Someone didn't D6s. play the lightning round in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> oh, God. Please, no. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm dead. Like, dude, you don't yeah, even have to roll dice. I don't even know how I would get to you. Like, what's your hit points at right now? 12. 12. I'm a 12. And what's your max HP? 22. Okay. You okay. run across the room and you almost make it, but as you're holding these things, the lightning comes out and you're like, okay, it's not coming at me. But then it like redirects and it Towards hits right me. into you. You fly across the room, bam, bang into the wall. And then you stumble onto the ground uh, and we will come back to you. Uh -oh. um, go ahead and give yourself one level of exhaustion. Me? Yes. Okay. That's a good sign. Uh, meanwhile, uh, ba, 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 ba. Please hold while I cancel your character art. Speaking of exhaustion, <laughs> please hold. <laughs> why? Character art. <laughs> no. Amira. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. You oh, find yourself God. here. There are <laughs> eight <laughs> braziers four, four, of four, 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 green flame. Green. Flame green. Oh shit. These braziers uh, are on each side of the room. On either side is a mirror. Can I arcana check anything without having to move? Yeah, I mean, you also have that gem. You look around and you oh, don't yeah, see yeah, yeah. anything. There doesn't look like to be like any illusions or like these braziers don't look like they're actually fire elementals or something like that. I didn't even think of that, but that's a fear I have. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, but... 
Um, but now that you but, told me. <laughs> can I Arcana check the mirrors? Because that's what I don't trust. You start to approach the room, and as you begin uh, to inspect these mirrors, uh, the mirrors... Because, look, uh, what I'm saying is, as you attempt to Arcana check them, something obvious is going to happen. It's not like I'm like, aha, I got you. Like, bear. But you start to inspect the mirrors, and suddenly you see Morden Kanan staring back at you from one of the mirrors. Oh. <clears throat> and what exactly do you need now? Mm. And you turn around and you look in the other mirror. Yes, what do you come to bother us with this time? Mm. There's another Morden Kanan, and they're not matching. They both appear to be moving independently. Are they talking to me or someone else? Hello, we're talking to you there. Uh, yes, girl, uh, please don't waste our time. Well, I'm looking for two things, three things. Uh, mm. One, um, we're looking for the, the vial of apotheosis. <laughs> Vile apotheosis, what would a girl like you be looking for something like that for? Yes, a purely dreadful thing. Well, um, you wish to... Shit, hold on. I need to think. How do I want to phrase this? Um... You can we speak need... plainly, girl. We don't judge you. Well... We're here we to assist. To someone. We need it for someone to help someone else. Who is it do you need to help? And this voice, you turn around and one of the mirrors no longer has Morden Caden in it. It's you looking back at you. Um... Do you really need to help someone? Says the other mirror. Very uncomfortable with the environment right now. Both mirrors mm -hmm. now have a reflection of you. And Do you they're know both where it is or not? talking to you. We know lots of things. Yes, there's pretty much nothing we can't solve together, can there? Is there? You haven't told me where it is, so clearly you don't know, and I'm going to start to walk towards the stairs. But maybe we do. Of course, we know everything. After all, Morden Caden comes to us for advice. Always. Well, then where is it? Do you know why you're looking for it? Yes. Do you know what it's capable of? Yes. Hmm. And yet, you don't see anything wrong with that. Something so powerful, taking it from an archmage. No. <laughs> I don't see anything yeah. wrong with it either, says one of them. Well, there are clear problems with doing that, of course. To find it, you'll need to find the index of this place. Find that. All you have to do is... Well, the other one speaks up. All you need to do is think of yourself as lost. Lost horribly. That'll the other one says... Already there. No, what you need to do is think of yourself as found, as sure of yourself. Yes, well, maybe that's it. Or it. Or it's one of them. Okay, well then the second thing I need to find is my friends. You just think of them fondly. You think of them in need. I don't remember what the third thing was, so 
I think it was, oh, I, uh, how to get out of here, but I assume that would be the same answer. You simply think of a place other than here. No, you think of a place specific, an exit. Okay, well, thank you. You were helpful. We're always helpful. And I will head towards the stairs, thinking very fondly of Loza. And I'll probably die, but she needs help. <laughs> okay. Roll a D100. Uh, roll a D10. Seven. <laughs> Funny. She didn't even ask us which one of us she should trust. I know. <laughs> and you go down the stairs uh, yeah. and you roll the seven, you said? Yep. Um... Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you enter just in time. Oh, God. <laughs> to see Loza get hit with a lightning bolt and stumble <laughs> down the stairs. <laughs> Did she take the javelins with her? <laughs> she was holding them as she fell down the stairs. Oh, good. Um... All of them? I was just taking one. You took all three. No, I said, said I was gonna take. I was gonna take a ring and a javelin. Oh, a javelin. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So yeah. So you just have a javelin. Two of them there. Okay. Well, if there's still two of them there, can I? There's also cross? lightning, <laughs> shocking through this room. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cast mage armor on myself. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to follow her. Follow her or grab one of those other javelins? No, I don't want that javelin. Well, I guess, no, because the, it, mm, is there a time to the, to the lightning strikes or? Make a wisdom check. Uh, 21, natural, or yeah, cool. nat 20. Uh, you, you think there might be, um, it, it shocked her and it just keeps going off almost at regular intervals. Okay, then I would take the, based on the timing, I would run and grab the javelins and place it closer to the thing where the lightning's coming from so that I can go around it. Okay, you rush in, grab these javelins and throw them out. Make a athletics check to do this quickly enough. And I would say you have advantage 14. on that because you timed it. Oh, okay. Uh, 14, still my best. 14. You rush out, you grab them, you throw them. Uh, you do take six points of lightning damage as you do get a minor shock, but your hand just kind of burns a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, you're able to run out to the other side of the stairs. Nice. Um, Loza, uh, roll a... I, did I have you roll a d10 already? Uh, I rolled something. No, I just took a point of exhaustion. I oh, roll. roll a d10. Um, I rolled a... Eight. Okay. Um... <clears throat> um... Alright, and Amira, roll a d10. One. I'm also thinking of Losa, though. Okay. Uh, one moment, one moment. Okay. Um, we'll pick that up in just a moment. Um, where... Where are you? Oh my God, this place is so big. Um, you did this to oh, yourself. <laughs> that's okay. Um, okay. Um, Johnny, where do you go after you get your gauntlets? Uh, is there anything else in the room? No, just 
got the gauntlets. There's some barrels that look like they have various spell components in them. Uh, all right, then I'll oh, actually, you there. already rolled. I know where you went. Oh, yeah, I think I rolled a one. Yep. You find yourself here. These I love that. Ritual rooms. There are bones all across the room and blood and then a pile of books. Help me. And you see the eyes of the skull start to light up and glow. And how am I supposed to do that? Put me back together. I can guide you. Oh, I know I mazes don't... like the back of my hand. Mm. I've been down this path before. Um, I don't Please. think I show. I am but bone. Yeah. Why are you here? I... I was sent here once to harm the wizard, but that was a long time ago. Now I just seek to be free of this place and my endless suffering. Well, I think I'm starting to learn if uh, Morden Kanan wanted you to be trapped here. There was a reason. And I'll walk over to the books and see if I can figure out what the books are for. The books appear to be uh, about anatomy. Is there any information I can glean from them or anything? If you wanted to put this thing back together, this looks like a helpful guide on how to do that. And it goes into like the nature of what minotaurs are and what they're capable of. True to his word, minotaurs are good at navigating mazes, but Mileage may vary, room. as you found out previously. Yes. I'm just going to walk to the other stairs, and right as I'm about to walk down, I'll just say, I'm Please. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. And then I'll walk down the stairs. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and you go up the stairs. Roll a d10. Uh, d10. It is a three this time. Uh, a three. Hmm? Correct. Um, interesting. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. You find yourself here. In the center of the room is a massive what? diva. Oh. Who goes there? Actually, it sounds more like... Who goes there? Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to get out of here. You are immortal. Are you with the wizard? Uh, kind of, I, I came here to retrieve something and now I'm trapped in here. I'm just trying to get out. Hmm. The wizard trapped me here as well. Perhaps we can aid each other, mortal. Why, why did he trap you here? He disagreed with my plans. And what were your plans? To purge the nine hells of devils once and for all. Hmm, perhaps we could help one another. <laughs> perhaps we can. These skulls around me are various demons and devils. They're enchanted to hold me in place with their combined power. Mm. Break them, and I will aid you, and you will join my legions. 
see. And what all does that entail exactly? Joining your legions? If you are a righteous warrior, you will work with my forces as we invade the Nine Hells and remove the scourge of devils once and for all. Start with Orcus. I have a companion who I think would very much like to meet you. Um, who has a, a, a similar feeling about this place. Um, if you Are they us, here in this tower? Yes. If you help us, if I free you, you help us get out and we can work together, kill some devils. Yes, this is much agreeable. So I have your word, your oath. You have my solemn oath. And I, I know that divas are like pretty good in general, right? Roll a religion check. Oh, Nat 20, 22. Oh. You know that Finally. divas are very, very good. They are divine angels. Uh, you also know that angels, they have been said to fall, but that doesn't look like this is the case. And the things he's saying certainly doesn't sound like that. All right. <sighs> I'll hold you to your oath, and I'll smash some skulls. You have chosen wisely. You begin to start breaking skulls. Meanwhile, Mouser, what are you up to? Um, I'm in the library again, remember? Mm-hmm. Um, huh, I guess, let's see here. I guess. I mean, it did like it, it was the last room I was in was just a it was or not the last room, but like the room that I went to. There was no book. It was just the circle, like the. Yep. Um. I guess. Let's see here. Is there a? Is there like a book or anything like that on, on like the exit to the tower? Um, as like a basically, I'm trying to like find a way to like, you know, properly navigate myself through this. You believe that? Make an investigation check. Thirteen. You do find a book that refers to a place known as the Nexus. Hmm. And it looks like it's a log of arrivals and departures. Hmm. Does it have us in it? It does. Interesting. Um, is there anything? Are we the last entries in the book? You and one you go off. Okay, it must be the guy that followed us in then. Hmm. I guess with with this in mind, let's see if I may, if I uh, with the nexus in mind would try to go upstairs and see if I can get myself placed there. You find yourself at where you entered. Hey. Okay, so I have three rooms properly mapped. Four, if I think of that. Hmm. I'd go back downstairs thinking of the thinking of the library again. The same room I was in. Um okay. What are you hoping to do? I'm 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 effectively like theoretically like, I'm using this as kind of like as my like nexus as like I can Your learn own. everything I need to there. 
Um, okay. assuming, and like within this, like I, I when, when I was thinking of Loza, it's where it put us. It put us where where I last saw her. So maybe, maybe that was kind of what's leading me there. So I'm trying to think of ways that I can try and find people now. Because if I have, um, can I learn? Can I read the book? more on that had the uh the book that we're looking for like that that took me to the incantation circle uh to see if there's like a log or anything like that that he could have done with it make um, an since investigation I didn't see a, check since i didn't or, see a book there arcana check arcana uh not one yeah you you are he's rambles about it he he's he's all over the place with these notes uh gotcha. yeah you're not quite able to decipher what he was up to Mm. Kind of wish that Amira was here. She would probably have better luck at this. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Think on it. Meanwhile, yeah, I'll think on it. Loza, you find yourself here. Am I alive? You are alive, but you have another level of exhaustion. Gotcha. As you have were shocked severely. Gotcha. Uh, what is this room? Uh, I'm gonna look at the table, like glance over it. It looks peaceful. It looks nice in here. The table, there's not a table, but there's like a rug. And the rug has on it uh, various tomes and incantations. Um, if you want to make an arcana check, you can try to decipher some of them. Yeah, I'll take a look. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, did it not register? What the f- Well, I got, I see a 21. Boy. Okay, okay, cool. I was like, I rolled a that 20. <laughs> um, Does not exist. Do not give. <laughs> uh, you... See an incantation which reads, uh, I'm going to send this to you privately. Um, this is what you would read probably out loud to yourself. And I know that sounds like bait, but just trust me with this. It's bait. Abaka Abakalud, get in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the entire room changes. Romantic music starts playing. Uh, beautiful pink lights Jordan light is... up. Uh, a bouquet of wonderful food appears on the ground next to these cushions. Mood lighting's going, and it you realize, oh. Oh, this is... This must be where Morden Caden takes. Gets it on. Yeah. Or does he like have? I couldn't picture an old wizard like him to have girlfriends or boyfriends or other creature friends. Lovers. <laughs> <laughs> him or Just one Adam. of his his <laughs> guests at the tower seems to. Uh, but it's actually quite nice. You think? It's, I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> a little tacky, but yeah, this is so very tacky. Oh, this poor thing. I could help him. Oh, I'll have to. Can I, I could, leave a few notes? I could help him. Can I actually, can I actually take out like a piece of like a, an ink pen um, and write a few pointer tips, um, uh, like decrease mood lighting. Um, Roll. This is flowers are too. You can choose uh, either performance <laughs> or religion. <laughs> For this both check, are, both are pretty good. Uh, I'll do performance. Ooh, okay. I rolled a ten. <laughs> uh, you you leave some advice for him, uh, hoping you know that this will steer him in the right direction with whoever the lucky lady or guy happens to be. Uh, <laughs> as you leave these detailed notes. Okay, there we go. Um. And uh, anything in that crystal thingy, or is that just like his weird crystal? No, thingy that, that's like, that's where the mood lighting is coming from. Thingy. Oh, the mood lighting. Oh god. Oh dear. Um, I will continue down the stairs. As, in <laughs> fact, as you inspect it, 
you get close and as you touch it, suddenly you see very lewd images appear inside the crystal and you realize, nope, nope, that's that's for another time, for, a, for another place. <laughs> another time. <laughs> Well, it's like, oh, so that's how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, turns her head, inspects it. Interesting. And then I'll head down the stairs. Roll a d10. Uh, yeah. I should just have this on, like, a hotkey. Uh, <laughs> uh, two. Two. Um... Okay, one moment. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. You leave that romantic atmosphere and you find yourself instead What? There's not two of you. You instead find yourself here <laughs> next to what looks like, yes, a bathtub full of blood. Disgusting. I need to purify this water. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? <laughs> I don't have any way to do that, unfortunately. <laughs> if I did, Make I would. an arcana check. <laughs> Oh, I rolled a, a natural 20, a dirty 20. You start to, you look at this and you're like, oh my God, how how can this belong to the same person who owns the, and then as you look at it, it looks strange. It doesn't look like, quite like blood. It looks different. Um. You could taste it. <laughs> dip, um, dip, dip a pinky in. That would it. that Does would it... give you like like a like a pinch would give you like an idea of what it might be. Uh, does it look like a, a potion or something like a health? Potion? Looks like some kind of chemical component. Hmm. Um. Can I divine? I don't know if this will actually do anything, but divine sense. Um, you divine the... sense. Interesting. You divine sense and you <clears throat> feel the presence. Uh, you sense nothing from this bathtub, but okay. you do sense the presence of many vile creatures in this tower and one very, very angelic figure in this tower as well. Ooh. Does my, uh, if I, I'm gonna sit for a moment and as I'm doing my divine sense, which, um, I like to think, it says, the description says like heavenly music in your ears. Um, yeah. so I, you I, hear that and you kind of like have an idea of its location. I'm going to like try to channel my inner power and just think about this and concentrate for a moment and just take me to this person, take me to them. And You're ignoring I'm, the blood pool? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, Loza doesn't have any interest in a blood pool. Taste okay. it. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. just go That's down. fine. You don't taste it. Instead, uh, you head down the stairs and you actually do arrive just in time as Johnny is breaking all of these skulls. Oh, come on, light up. Come on. <laughs> Breaking them. And oh. in front of you is a diva. Oh. Uh. Welcome, Loza. Uh, Johnny, are you, are you freeing this creature? Yes, is this a friend, friend of yours? Yes, this is yes. the friend I, I spoke to you about that you would love to meet. I sensed your presence here. You are of the divine as well. I am. I am an Astamar of, <laughs> of Sunni. 
Whom do you serve? Well met. I serve Mount Celestia. Always. I love Celestia. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love. This mutation oh magic. Your, your mic so is like comment. peaking with oh, your yeah. squealing. <laughs> as you're like, I love. It's like, oh boy. Yeah. Loza, we've I've struck a bargain with sorry, what's your name? My name is Loras. Loras or Lorax? Moran. Loras. Loras. Lor Lora. I struck a bargain Lora. with Loras. He's going since I freed him, we're going to help each other get out, and then we're going to slay some of our devil friends. Friends. Oh. Perfect. Oh, finally, something good in this this forsaken tower. This is the first good floor I've stepped on. And, you know, I've seen that, you know, there's an interesting, like, love floor, and that was not even mm. that good. Um, oh, oh, Loza, you look, must look what I got. Aid us. Yes, oh. yes. Uh, and, and, what, sorry. Johnny's gonna get really excited and he's gonna try to shoot flames out of his gauntlets. <laughs> his gauntlets light on fire and like they're just burning. Really cool, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have no oh. time for this. Oh. You oh, must yeah. free me before the mage of this tower returns. Yes, of course. Of course. I'll keep hacking away. Why did he um why did he put you in here? As I, uh, I will he help feared I will help pack. that I would upset his precious balance. Oh, like the great, the, yeah, like yeah. He was gonna try to kill more devils. Yeah. Well, I, I do understand there's a balance to things, but I also understand that evil is really bad. So I'm with you, and I'm gonna start crushing. Uh, skulls, or continue to crush skulls. Okay, you guys start breaking skulls. Yeah, um, free the Steva. Uh, one moment. <laughs> Let me just check where <laughs> just that laughter. excitement over that is just hilarious to me. <laughs> this nervous laughter. Amira, you find yourself uh, here. <laughs> Meanwhile. What it is looks that? like the, the thing in like a TIE fighter or something like the glass. There is a small box on the ground, a bookshelf on the side, and four scrolls surrounding it on the floor. What did you say was in the middle? A small box. Okay. And you hear from inside the box, help me. Help me! That sounds like Lulu. Please! Hmm. Can I roll an insight on that? <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's a trap. 16. You sense that whatever's in there desperately does not want to be inside of there. And they Shock. are, uh, they are quite pissed off about it. But I don't get any inkling that I know what that is. It's small, like smaller than Lulu. Like this looks almost like a jewelry box. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore it for now. Can I go to the bookcase? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to ignore it for now. <laughs> Please. I, and what do I, find I don't want to die in here. Not going to persuade me. On the bookshelf, yet. there are some books. They I are various you. books on the Fae and creatures mm -hmm. of the Fae wild. <gasps> yes, I would like to read. Okay, what are you looking for? <laughs> I just like I want I would want to just read about it because that's definitely 
what I would like to know. <laughs> yeah, Just you like... read there's books on pixies, on sprites, uh, little uh, mischievous sometimes, uh, sometimes loving, sometimes treacherous uh, uh, creatures of the Feywild. And there are many beliefs and their tricks and things like that. Um, just basically a crash course in the Feywilds is what you gather so far. Okay. Is there anything about, like, evil pixies? Because I have an inkling that's... What Roll an talks. arcana check. Or investigation, actually. Ten. I mean, there's all sorts of things to be worried about, but none in particular that you seem to find that are evil. I'm going to go down the stairs thinking about the book. Please help me! God damn it! <laughs> you yeah. fucking bitch! As you go down the stairs. Happen, you. <laughs> Show your true colors. <laughs> How would you feel if you were trapped in a box and someone's like, you know what? Let you. me just read yeah. in front of you. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Maybe I don't help you. Roll a D10 uh, for me. <laughs> You're pretty pissed. Four. Four. Yeah, of course I gotta play true to my character when I see a bookcase. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's knowledge. You find yourself here. And there's some chests in the room. Oh, great. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna that's hold up perfect. my gem. <clears throat> okay. You see that there are two mimics in this room. Okay. You are able to identify them clearly and stay far away from them. Fantastic. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I want to do to make this? I'm just going to make them visible so that way you know that they're there. Thank you. Um, okay. I'm going to open the chest that's closest to me, quietly. Okay. As you go to open that chest, you notice there's some dirt on the ground, and as you open the chest, inside is just a bunch of dirt and rocks. Okay, that's dumb. Uh, I'll go to the next one. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sounds like Minecraft. Fuck old Morgan can give me a box of dirt. It's another box of dirt and rocks. Got him. Okay. So I don't know anything about the vial of apothecary, right? Apo the vial of apotheosis. That one, yeah. It's the it's <laughs> vial apotheosis, not vial of, just vial apotheosis. V I L E. Okay. Vial apotheosis. I don't know anything about it, right? Like I don't know if it speaks to people or anything like that. You have no idea, no. Well, because the Vile Apotheosis isn't a book. That's knowledge that you believe is in the book that they're after. But that's... What you understand is the Vile Apotheosis is like a particular... It's the name for like a... Think of it like a arcane theory or an arcane hypothesis of sorts. Okay. The anti life okay. equation. Um, I want to go open the other two boxes on the other side. Okay. Inside one, you find. Um, <laughs> you find an immovable rod. What does that mean? Does it is a lighter? rod with a button on it. And you pull it out look at it and you press the button and then suddenly you can't move the rod wherever it is it won't move 
Oh, okay. But then when you press the button again, it's free. Too Why would I ever need that, though? I don't know. If you're climbing a mountain and uh, you want to tie. Just... Or you fall Should and you press the button, you'll stop. Yeah, you can add that to your inventory. <clears throat> I'll look how to add it afterwards. Um, okay, and that's uh, the four boxes at the top? That you... Uh, that's in one of them. The other one has some weird, like... It looks like the various belongings of a wizard. Um, various knickknacks, uh, journals, things like that. Uh, I would like to record that in my journal. Record the journals in your journal? Yes. You, you write down that you read through some <laughs> journals. That's a lot to go through, though. A lot of it is in chicken scratch. Hey, man. Listen, this, this is who I am. Okay. Uh, um, you also find a jar of restorative ointment. Oh. That. It's a glass jar, jar about of... three inches in diameter. What is it called? A jar of what? Restorative, Restorative ointment. ointment. It smells pungent, but it has on it the symbol of uh, Ilmater. Do I know what that is? It's a god of like healing and uh, bearing the wounds of others. Oh, it has charges. Can I use one of those now? Sure. Okay. You like open it up and you start smearing some of this ointment on you. Wait, so what do I do? It contains 1d4 plus 1 doses. It contains 4 doses. This one says Five. Are you saying there's it's four only on it? It's one D four plus one. I'm telling you that I rolled for it. You have four doses. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how do I how do I heal with it? Like what do I roll? Uh it would be two D eight plus two. So two D eight, and then we'll just add two to that. So fourteen. Nice. Okay. Oops. Um. Neat. Okay. Um. I'm assuming the mimics are sleeping. Yes. Can I open the one under the stairs? Sure. You open that one, and it's more rocks and dirt. <laughs> Got him be the fucking purple one. I know it. <sighs> and I assume if I attack one mimic, the other will also wake up then. So, um, I have an idea. Can I try to, um, send a message? Sure. Who are you trying okay. to send a message to? I'm going to try to send it to Loza. Because that's okay. what I saw last. Um, and say, can you find me? I'm in the room of chests again. Um, Johnny. Oh, I, if I can reply, uh, <laughs> I would say I, I'm in a room with Johnny. Um, we're we're almost done. <clears throat> um, and then we're gonna get out of here. Wait, I'm in the room where I think the book is, though. Oh, oh. Um, but I need help. There's mimics. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I know how to get to you. Like, it just seems like this. Just, just think of the book. Think of You're the muted. book. Oh, there you go. Uh, think of the book when you go up th uh, to the uh, stairs. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, uh, and I'll turn to Johnny. Johnny, um, Amira needs me. Um, I am gonna go to her while you... Why don't, why don't we free our friend and then go to her? That makes more sense, does it not? Yes. I thought you were just your new best what? friend. You're just going to leave him? Uh, but, uh, uh, the item that we're looking for might be on the floor that Amira's on. 
And how uh, how are we supposed to get to that floor anyway? If I, Amira just said to think about the book. It is all right. You can go. Johnny and I will find you once we are free of this containment. And we also have to find one more person um, who I have not seen at all. Uh, yes, we will, we will all get out of here together. As she leaves us. <laughs> Roll a d10. Oh, God. <clears throat> Think of the book. Think of the book. Think yeah, of the book. Heal together think three of the times. Book. Think the of book the book. Think of the book. Think of the book. Uh, I rolled a three. Think of the book. Think of the book. <laughs> you rush up the stairs and. Amira! And you look around, and there's Back. Mouser. Oh! Oh! A Mouser! Oh, it's you! <laughs> oh, how have you found me? Um, I are... I found our exit already. You did? Well, oh, it's quite easy to navigate this place if you know what you're looking for. Um, well, can you navigate to Amira? Because she might have found the room with the book. Mm. Potentially, as in, usually if you're thinking of a person, at least from my experience so far, when I tried to find you, it's the last place you've seen them. Uh, hmm. We can try, but okay. just keep keep the place in mind that you want to go. So, the, port the room with the portals, I think from my from my research here, it's known as the Nexus. Okay. Um, or... From what I from what I thought I found for for where the book was, off his off of uh off the notes written here, it was just some sort of ritual space, but there was no book. Um, so we can try to search for her, but she's is there anything to go off of? Oh, she just said she just told me to think of the book, and I did, and I ended up here. Probably because of all the books. I'm already... Oh. My head hurts. Thinking. Too much thinking. I don't think, okay? I act. Is this Tracy or Liz that's talking? Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't think I act. Let's go. So I, I keep... also said chests and mimics. Oh, did you? She did. Um, she also mentioned chests and mimics, so maybe if I think of chests and mimics, which and is not a good thing to think about. I would think of all three of them. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where he might have taken the book. Uh, we can go and see. I've, I've, I've been able to navigate back here, like, a few times already, so I'm not too worried of leaving the space. Oh, and, uh, Johnny is currently freeing a diva from a circle that he was trapped in. Um... What? What? He's going to help us get out of here and fight devils. We don't need his help to get out of here. We know how to get out of here. I know, but he is also like a, a very valiant div diva who will fight devils for us. We've been here for us. what, an hour? Yes. And he's <sighs> valiant. <sighs> yes, he's very <sighs> valiant and he is going to save us. <sighs> who will save you? Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> Who, who's there? <laughs> I would like you both to make a deck saving throw. Oh, jeez. A deck save. 15. 15. <clears throat> 17. Ooh. You both narrowly <laughs> dodge as this bookshelf Wait. explodes and a massive a demon pummels through the room you're standing in. I rolled a and five. So you got hit. Yep. Sorry. For <laughs> seven no, bludgeoning totally damage. Right. You are totally right. Ow. Ow! Oh. oh! You! You foul beast! 
smell of the fool who freed me. Who freed you? Doesn't matter. <laughs> and he will go ahead and charge at you now. Doesn't matter. Don't, don't even ask. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. Um, God up. <laughs> Uh, well, I would say the two of you can roll initiative. Is this the thing he freed? <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, no, it's no. Bear. It's the bear. I, 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 I mean, Nick knows, but. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, I hope this isn't. Uh -huh, <laughs> still better. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's initiative. <laughs> Do I hold okay. disadvantage initiative? Oh, uh, 11. 11. Okay. Uh, it is going to charge. Um, does a 27 hit you, Loza? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one moment. Tracy, you just have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Got it. Loza is smashed into the wall and knocked unconscious. <sighs> Damn it. It's standing over her. I'll enjoy eating her flesh. And it turns to you, Mouser. Mouser, what would you like to do? Misty Step only takes one person with me. I, I, I can't take someone with me with Misty Step, right? Uh, if they're unconscious, I'll say you can. Like, if you want to carry them. Yeah. Um... I can't like grab her and misty step to like down the stairs or something, can I? You can misty uh, step partly down the stairs, but then you'd have to drag her the rest of the way. That's fine. I just <laughs> but first some, you need to some... get to her. And right now, yeah. this thing's between the two of you. Um, let's see here. Let me spell. I only have two spell slots, so I think what I'll do is use. Like calling to Vilefan, you know, telepathically, um, and uh, Vilefan, just kill the lights, would you? And uh, have him cast darkness. Okay. If I use your cape as a. You do nope. cast darkness, which fills the room. Uh, I will remind you. I also have another thing at your disposal that you could use, but that's okay. Um, I don't... No, 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 that's okay. You do cast the room, shroud it in darkness. I mean, he's got thing... his darkness. I've got my darkness. I was using specifically using the, the swords versus one of my spell slots. No, 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 no. I, I understand. I, I was talking about something else. It's no big deal. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, you cast the room in darkness. Uh, roll a deck save at advantage. 16 or 18. Sweet. You narrowly dodge as you hear, but don't see this thing. Oh, actually, do you have, I have vision? I can, oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, then yeah. You just dodge out of the way as this thing slams into the wall, uh, trying to break every bone in your body, which if it could have seen you, it surely would have. I you will... sidestep it. Yeah, and, and then, then you're make bolting my way for to Loza. It. Okay, you grab Loza and you guys flee down the stairs. Uh, make a uh, roll of D10. Um, I guess it's a hero. Yeah. I have to... A one. One. Okay. One moment. Mm. Uh, and then if I'm able to, once we get down to wherever, um, I'm assuming you're down. Uh, yeah, uh, she's unconscious. unconscious. Yep, yep. I, yep. Uh, I would use Spare the Dying. Woo! That's not the music I want to play. That's a... Uh, uh, cool. You appear here. A room full of mirrors. And a mm. chest in the middle. I would Spare the Dying first before anything else. Okay. I'm still technically, I'm up, but not conscious, right? With Spare the Dying? Yeah. 
Okay. I believe I've already used my cure wound, so I can't really help you any further. What do you got uh, there? Hmm? What do you got there? You hear a voice come from one of the mirrors. I'm sorry, can you, can you I'm, I, I didn't hear what you said. What do you got there? Oh, uh, is she her? Says another voice from one of the mirrors. Um, I'd like to see like, like which mirror is it coming from? Make an arc. Is it a voice check. I recognize? <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna make an arcana check. Oh, did you ask for an arcana check? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I must have been only coughed. Eleven. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Um, you look up and make a charisma saving throw. Eleven. Oh, it's Constitution. Sorry. Eight. You look up and suddenly you see Loza sitting on the ground. On, in the mirror or next to me? Next to that chest. Because you are Wait. seemingly gone. Oh. You look and you realize you are in one of these mirrors. God damn it. Ah, uh, great. You look at one of the other mirrors and they whisper to you, Oh, tough break. Looks like you're stuck here with us. <laughs> uh, gets them every time well after all it got us and all these mirrors in the room are talking to each other it's a shame you could have asked for help would have been willing to help you but why would we help you it's more fun mm. to watch mm. you want to stay like trapped we're going anywhere Maybe your friend will wake up and free us. <laughs> we'll see. Assuming she fares better than you did. Who are you? One's a succubus. Another one is a uh, is a revenant. One of them is a hag. They. It, it's almost like you're at an AA meeting for. Mm like evil people mm. uh they kind of introduce themselves they're kind of going back and forth yeah well i remember when i came here i i just got lost and well i looked into one of the mirrors and that was pretty much it and this is going on for a while and you're just like oh my god please help me <laughs> like <laughs> please make it stop um meanwhile uh let's see Amira, your friends haven't shown up. What would you like to do? Um. Can there I... are still three more chests. There are four more chests you haven't opened. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, I'm going to quiet, quietly try to open the purple one. Okay. Inside of it, you find iron bands of binding. Oh, I don't want that. I mean, it's nice, but uh, can I also put my immovable rod right in front of the one that's right next to me so that it's like stuck in one place there? Sure. You Just place the rod, roll a stealth check. Ten. You place the rod, and as you do, this thing wakes up, and as it lunges at you, it hits the rod, and it's it's like, it it's very much like a dog chined on a leash. It's trying to get around, but this rod is just stuck in its way. Okay. Uh, the other one wakes up too, but you see it's moving quite slowly. Okay, but 
before it does anything then, I want to add that to my inventory. Uh, you said ba bands Iron of bands of binding. Um, can I open the one that's on the other side of the box? The yeah. blue or gray one? This one, you open it, and inside is more dirt and rocks. Okay. Um, can I quickly try to open the other two? You rush over to open the other two, and you find tons of wizard's junk. And oh. as this one is still, like, trying to mosey its way over, uh, like, trying to move, you see, you hear something. Oh, no. It sounds like a rock fall. Or an avalanche. Oh. You look, and all of those boxes with rocks and dirt in it have started to empty themselves. Oh, good. Okay, I want to run for the upstairs. Make an athletics check as a stone goal or a uh, stone elemental starts to form right in the middle of the room. Uh. Thirteen. Thirteen. You rush to the door. Uh, and take five points of bludgeoning damage as it lashes out at you. Uh, you bang into the wall, but you're able to stumble down the stairs relatively okay. Roll a I d10. Was up the stairs. Oh, up the stairs. That's fine. Same thing, really. Yeah, really. Four. Four. Mm, okay. Johnny. Your friend is free. Is he still a friend? What now, Johnny? <sighs> we need to find my companions. Lead the way. Uh, and then I'll think of, uh, I think of the last thing that Loza told me, which was the, the think of the book or whatever, right? That's what she told me. Okay. Oh. The two of you. Uh, Say what? I clicked on it. I didn't mean to do that. I was oh, that's it. okay. <laughs> the two of you suddenly arrive uh, in a room with a very angry Goristro. <laughs> you dare come back here. Uh, Stand back, Johnny. Go for it. This angel flies forward and proceeds to annihilate this thing. This thing screams as its mace glows with radiant light and pummels into its face, knocking it straight up, slamming its head into the ceiling. As it stumbles onto the ground, the angel's already on top of it and just starts wailing it mercilessly, <laughs> bludgeoning it to death. All that's is left is black loop. ooze oh, yeah, in the middle of the floor as this thing dies. Johnny starts clapping. Just well done. Well done. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> Where to next? <laughs> I feel so much power. <laughs> uh, shit. Did what? Oh did did, Lo, did Loza say anything else about? Um. This room Amira? looks like a complete mess. Uh, you actually see. Make an investigation check. Okay. Thirteen. You actually see some blood on the wall, right behind you, and it looks like someone was smashed into this and then dragged down the stairs. Uh, I. Th I think one of them was hurt. Uh, can you 
then we must find can them. You can you see if you can locate Loza? I know she, maybe I'll have some sort of connection. This tower is beyond my sense of comprehension. But wherever we go, I shall protect you and find your friends. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll just think of Loza and try to move forward. Okay. Roll d10. Four. You find yourself here. There is on the table a massive suit of armor. Um, the armor is missing two gauntlets. It is covered in blades. Like spikes mm. all over the armor. Like on the outside, like to protect the wearer? Yeah. Okay. And it, it's, it, does it look pretty obvious that it's the same set? It does. Can, can I try to take off the gauntlets? Yeah, you you attempt to take them off. Um, you're able to take them off to, like, don this if you wish. Is it? Well, I guess my next question is, I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll try it on and see if it if it works. But if it's heavy armor, then I don't necessarily want to wear it. Um, one moment. It is considered plate armor. So that's heavy. Yeah. I will say you could wear it as half plate. Okay. Which I think I'll would just, make it like medium armor. I'll just wear, can I just wear like the gauntlets and like the, the boots and helmet and just kind of leave the legs and, and, and breastplate off. This armor of, yeah. Sorry, one second. This armor is of demonic craftsmanship. Mm. Are you sure you want to wear it? Well, after seeing him absolutely annihilate that creature, I will stay as I am. I'll I'll, I'll keep the the gauntlets. Is the is the sword? Does it look like it's worth anything? The whole thing looks incredibly magical. I'll just take the sword and, and the gauntlets because I like the fire. <laughs> okay. Give me one moment. Uh, you can add... Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm not about to try to piss off this diva that... <laughs> I mean, you can talk it over with them if you want. That's up to you. Um, give me one second. That is going to be... Um, that is a, I believe, one second. Um, what you pick up is a gambler's blade. You can choose the bonus right now. Don't look it up, but you can choose okay. the bonus to be plus one or plus three or plus two. What's what? behind door number two? Uh, trap door, trap door. Uh, uh, let's go middle ground, plus two. Okay. It is a plus two blade. 
and it'll give you plus two to your attacks and damage rolls against all creatures. So what, what exactly kind of a blade is that? Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> okay. moving on. It is a it is a, a, a great sword. Okay, great sword. So yeah. It's a plus two great sword. Yep. Okay. Um, All right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> meanwhile, one moment. Um, Do we want to break real quick? If like that could be a yeah. Break let's take stuff. a brief yeah. break. Um, we'll be back in about 10 minutes to see what our friends do next. Uh, in the meantime, uh, don't go anywhere, and we will be right back. Uh, ERB. Yep. Bye. Bye. Fire! Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
And we're back. Hey. And we're back. Yo. Specifically, we're back to Loza. Oh, no. Who wakes no. up oh, in, no. a, <laughs> in the middle of a bathtub full of blood. Oh, she's fine. Loza, you wake up. <gasps> you are at full hit points. The bathtub wait. was, in fact, healing potion. Damn it! Oh. Wait, wait. If if he came and picked her up, would I have been able to try and talk to him? You may have. You certainly tried. Now, young lady, just what on earth do you think you're doing? By doing, I'm trying to... Wait a minute. But I died. I'm here. You brought me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you were passed out in one of my rooms of the tower. I, uh, I was did you have somebody. a friend with you by any chance? Yeah. Yes, um, yes. The last thing I remember was being thrown to a wall by a demon, and I saw my friend there. I can't escape the Lord of the Rings, no matter how many weeks pass. Your donation not just helped us, but also interrupted Morden Kanan. Adam is probably furious with you. <laughs> Players are always so happy, and the DM's like, <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. Thank I, you. We appreciate that. We appreciate your, your generous contribution to the character art. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, there was a fellow there who was yes. there, I, saying he was with you. Yes. Yes. He's my friend. We're just trying to get out of here. Um, what was his name? Mouser. Hmm. Mouser, after being left alone, suddenly you see a large arcane hand reaching towards the mirror you're in and shattering it. And suddenly, the next thing you know, you're here. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Loza, you're, you're, you're okay. You, you told him I was with you. She's oh, fine. I told you I was with her. I needed to hear that from the young lady. That's fair. You seem to have a lot of questionable people all trapped the creatures in, there. in that room all want to be let freed but let me tell you they're more trouble than they're worth most of the time they 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 tricked me into looking at the mirror after i stabilized her i i could i understand i, I I'm, I'm sorry it's just frustrating listening to them Look, talk about you why you and your why other trapped. friends have caused quite a lot of problems you've been messing with my experiments and my research all I put my, I put over this books place. Back where I found them. Look, you, look, you, 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 you drank fizzy lifting drink. You know, you, you did what, contaminated. It, it, look, it's it's been a mess. Okay. <sighs> we're very sorry, sir. Um, we're just like very lost and confused. And when you're lost and confused, you just touch just things. Just tell me your... where the rest of your friends are. Um. Well. Uh, I am not sure. She uh, said a room with chests. Yes, a room with chests and mimics. She's probably dead by now. Uh, well, can you put her in this pool and bring her back? Probably not. A uh, pool what? only uh, help resuscitate the living, not the dead. And she's probably been eaten by mimics. But we'll look for her. We'll see if we can find any remains. Um, and then we had another friend. Um, where is he? Uh, well, um, he was with. Yeah, where am I? Yeah, where is I, Johnny? He was in a room with a diva. First of all, why are you trapping a diva in here, good sir? Oh, uh, excuse me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Young lady, oh, you are barely a blip on my radar, okay? That's fair. But you are tra trapping a very important angelic creature from Mount Celestia. 
What if they're fallen, Moza? Did you free the angel? Maybe. I did no such thing. But uh, let me guess. A... He told you he was gonna go ahead and destroy all the devils in the nine hells. And that's what most diva mm -hmm. are set mm -hmm. out to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's an entire mountain of divas, right? An entire mountain of a Mount Celestia. Yes. You notice none of them have really gotten involved in that little conflict down south. Do you know what the blood war is? Yes, it's the war between devils and demons, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why do you think they're fighting that war? I don't know, to control mm -hmm, all of the underworld mm -hmm, or something? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's because the demons want to be yeah, everywhere else. And the first place they need to go through to get to everywhere else is the Nine Hells, okay? But that's so bad, don't you agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the devils aren't in the Nine Hells, what happens next? Okay, I understand, but do you, mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. this, this... I don't this, think you do understand, because what, what you're doing here, what your angel friend, and that's the reason I locked him up, was trying to do was upset the cosmic balance, okay? See, I, if, the, if the devils aren't there, demons are going to run roughshod, and we're all going to be up into our eyeballs and demons. Is that what you want? Huh? No, no, that's not what I want. But no, do you I didn't think, think so. One diva is going to take out Asmodeus himself and the, uh, all of the nine hells. Did he mention to you anything about legions? Uh, he didn't say that to me, but. <laughs> mm. He may have mentioned <laughs> that. And you, you need to understand the slightest tip and balance in the blood war. It could rock this whole boat, all right? And you have to understand, the entire multiverse as we know it is standing on the head of a pin. It's it's far too complicated for me to explain to a novice like you, but I'm you need to trust that. me on this, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, this, this, I, I, you're going to trap that, you're going to trap him again, aren't you? We're probably not going to be able to trap him because I'm assuming you, in order to let him free, you crushed all those demon and devil skulls I had carefully arranged yes. and gathered over a long course of my wizarding career. That may have been, <sighs> that may have been mm -hmm. something that yeah. was so done. Yeah, so freeing him, oh, well, we're well past that bridge. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to take a more permanent solution to our friend. Why did you guys do this? Uh, you want to kill him? No, no, no. It's either kill one angel or let the entire multiverse be swimming in demons. I think you are thinking way too extreme, sir. No, clearly, you, really... you haven't done the math, but let me trust. Ugh. Just trust me here. I have. All right. Do, is your do you have a title of archmage, young lady? No. Have I you ever, do you even the know the ins and outs of a 10 foot pole? You don't even have one, do you? I have, I have wings and a holy symbol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you don't understand anything about the cosmic order, clearly. I, I don't know what Kool-Aid they have you drinking at whatever uh, church or temple you go to, but let me tell you something. Angels, they, they're they they're just as bad for themselves as they are for us, the little guys, okay? How dare you? Do you not have any moral compass? <sighs> you, he just you, saved your life. Uh-huh. Fine, fine. I can't stop you, clearly, with your such high... I'm not asking you if you can pedigree. not stop me. You have to understand... you. It was a hard task getting him trapped in the first place. And if we're gonna, well, put him out of his own misery, I'm gonna need some help. Oh. Can I help you with something else? Can I clean the floors or something? Or mop the floors that we ruined? As a matter of fact, you could get around to that once we're done. 
<sighs> uh, I, I've already done things in, in Avernus that I do not agree with in my own moral fibers. You've heard I the phrase, you can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs, right? Let me tell you, this is a pretty important omelet we're making here. All right, fine. And now let's fine. see about your other friend since, uh, well, the, the, the one that's probably still living is gonna be a bit problematic given his traveling companion. We should probably check on the other one then. Yes, exactly. And please, this way. Um, and he begins to lead you guys away. God Meanwhile. Damn God damn it. Dang, Kanan, why'd you have to show up? Amira. What? <laughs> what? Oh, it's pretty. You just, you just let me die. You find yourself in a room filled with crystals and this weird pile of bones in the center of the room. Pile of bones again. What does it want to say to me? It doesn't oh, seem to no. say anything. Oh, nice. Can I look at, like, the books that are around? Sure. Make an arcana check. Thirteen. What you're reading is it looks like a lot of divination and conjuration magic. Okay. Um, is it just like spells or? There is an incantation, um, but it seems to indicate something about a placement of bones that is required before this is done. Something, uh, it refers to this arrangement that you see in front of you, and it describes it, the bones, as the hands of a clock. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, um, can I try one more time? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> can I try one more time to, like, really think about, like, the vial of apotheosis? Eh. It's the vile apotheosis. There's no O. Vile apotheosis. One singular vial. I'm going to think of the vile apotheosis, and I'm going to, like, fixate on that thought and try that one more time. You look at this arrangement, you're like, nah. And you think real hard to yourself. Roll a wisdom check. Oh, no. It's a three. You find yourself <laughs> You find yourself going up the stairs and arriving Dang it Here Can I do an arcana check on those? Sure. 26, nat 20. Yeah. These metal suits are magical. There is magic in them. That's what I was afraid of. But there is a very big, expensive looking chest on the other end of the room. Okay, okay. Here's what I want to do, George. Okay. I want to stand at the foot of the stairs. Okay. And I want to use Mage Hand to open the chest. <laughs> okay. You use Mage Hand. And you can't see inside of the container, but you hear this nice music. Na, 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 na. This beautiful music start coming from the chest. And then these metal suits start dancing in ballet. You're muted. Oh, whoops. I said, huh. Okay. Um, can I... Can I walk near one to see if it will do anything? 
It certainly can. <laughs> the suits are just dancing. And they're just okay. dancing in very intricate ballet mm. that you did not even know they were capable of. Group, do you think I should look in the box? All your heart. <laughs> I'm going to look in the box. What is in the you box? You approach the box, and inside the box, you see it is a very intricate music box. Oh. That's dumb. Okay. Make Let's a strength start. saving throw. Oh, yeah. As the carpet below you leaps up oh, and wraps no. around you and attempts to smother you. Of oh. course. No. I of course. Can't. Of course. You can thank of Adam course. for this because no, this was all his <laughs> idea. Oh, oh that... my gosh. I showed him this room and he's like, you know what would be funny? If that made the suits just dance. And I was like, that is hilarious. What if the rug was a rug of smothering? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. It was a great, it was a great moment. Um, <laughs> uh, I let's hope see. Mordecai dies to the angel. 16. Um, I'll help him. <laughs> oh my God. You yeah. are grabbed, but you are able to wiggle your way out of the rug. Uh, with your very high athletics check, you are able to flee out of it and run to the other side of the room. It attempts to wrap around you again. Uh, it does wrap around you one more time. Make another athletics or acrobatics check. 21 nat. You are able to slip Up out of it rug. and you rush to the stairs as this carpet tries to smother you and the metal suits are still just dancing. In a great time, I'm sure. Yeah, as she leaves up. Uh... No, would she do this? I don't know if she's sassy enough. Player would flick off the carpet as she ran <laughs> was running. I don't think Amira would. I think she'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's see. Where are they? Um, Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny? Um, <laughs> Johnny, you are currently right here at the oh, head that's... of this massive <sighs> thing. It was terrifying. But thankfully, your friend showed up with you and annihilated this thing, pounding its head into a bloody pulp at the top of this staircase. This... Hmm. I its body him. goes I limp. And just like you see, it starts to slowly starts to slide down the stairs back oh where it came God. from. Like a slinky, oh almost. Uh, well, a very uh, tall, scary-looking slinky. You're uh, hating to have around. Um, I want to keep him. I want to keep him. Adam wrote in the chat. He just want a hug. My favorite no. room. No. No. Oh, and then we laugh. Yeah. God, I'm so glad you were there to hear that. Um, <laughs> so yeah. He uh, pummels this thing into oblivion. Where Is shall we go those... next? <laughs> I feel like I have a loaded gun and I'm just pointing it. Uh... <laughs> uh, is there another staircase or just that one? You can go back down. You know it's going to lead somewhere different. Well, onward. We got to meet up with Roll the rest a of the before, before uh, doing anything else. Uh, and Amira, uh, roll a d10 as well. That's an eight. Eight. Seven. Um, <laughs> What's the diva's name again? Loras. Uh, yeah. Loras. 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 Okay. Um, that brings us to Amira, you find yourself, um, 
<laughs> Where are you? I find another diva. I find another diva. Hooray. <laughs> Is this like Captain America Civil War? It's like D.Va versus Morgan Kanan. <laughs> we have to team up. I don't think that's how Civil War went, but yeah, I mean, effectively. <laughs> team Cap, Team Team Iron Man. Come that, on. That's literally. <laughs> crew, Morgan Kanan, Iron Man. Oh my Morgan God. Morgan Kanan is Iron Man in this. Is he? Because um... Iron Man was in the wrong there, and we seem like kind of assholes. And by we, I mean. But Loza, Cap, Cap it's a diva. Good. And what it's is a diva? Good? Not this. Uh, purging evil. Mm, pass. Every time you say diva, I'm like, is this easy mode? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Haunts my dreams. <laughs> I think it's actually pronounced Deva. Hold on. Let me look at the D and D beyond. Amira, you find yourself here. In the abyss. In the abyss. Oh, <gasps> literally. Oh my. I don't there like it. There are chairs all around you. And there are people sitting in them. People who look like this. Don't be hot, don't be hot, don't be hot, don't be hot. Oh, oh. I see oh. them. They're ghostly looking though, transparent. I see them. I call out to the beyond. Speak to me. Was this a Ouija board? Lady of Winter, give me your guidance. Tell us what message do you wish to convey? Amir is writing this down. She would approach this in a Spirits, I call out to you! And as you're writing this down, you, the gnome in front of you, I, I hear something, a scratching, a clawing. It's, it's faint. And you pause for a moment. No, it's gone. You write, <laughs> and I hear it again. Spirits of the beyond, I hear you. Give me a sign. Nerds. No. Um. She would just bear witness. Like, I, I feel like she would just see what they're waiting for. Like, how long have they been here? I told you this gnome was a crock of shit. No, no, give him some time. <sighs> Spirits, please, anything. I beseech thee as your medium from the other side. Uh, okay, so she is assuming they're located somewhere and doing a seance of some sort. Um, oh, they're probably on the material plane. How can I use this? <laughs> How can I use this? <laughs> That just Vanessa things. <laughs> Vanessa things. Um. Hmm. I don't think she would say anything though, because there's nothing that would benefit her from doing this. You do start to feel bad for this gnome because That's, his yeah. customers are getting pretty pissed off and they, you think they're gonna turn on him and probably beat the crap out of him. Oh no, okay. Um, it's okay, you don't have to do anything. I'm just letting you know that's what you're perceiving. She would say, what is it you see? I hear something. They, they ask, what do we seek? Mm. I'm seeking my cousin Marvin. Went out into the snow of 10 day ago, hasn't come back. You went to look for him? Have you searched for him? Yeah, yeah, I searched for him. It's 
negative 28 degrees outside. What do you expect? I, I'm just looking for my son. He ran off. Please ask her, ask the spirit if she's seen my son. I have seen no one. Spirits, have you seen? And he yells out a name. The name is, one moment, please. I should have been more prepared because I had this written down, but I don't have it in front of me. One second. Uh, the what name he yells, <laughs> just for everyone to know, is... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Who are war? Uh, Who are war? Who are war? Uh, what's the line? Who are war? Malfoon. Please ask the spirits. And he yells out, Spirits, have you seen who are, who are Malfoon? Spirits, have you Where seen him? Where were they last? Where were they last? The spirits are looking for him. He left home about uh, 10 days ago. He, I'm afraid he's gotten in with a bad crowd. Please. Ask the lady to guide him back to me. Spirits, guide you are back home. We beseech thee. I will try. The spirits will try. Oh, thank you. And she seems reassured. Uh, and the gnome even looks a little bit puzzled as he like looks around. And then the seance ends. I You're I back in that room. Of mine. <laughs> I didn't say I would. I just said I'd try. So if it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Also, Where would you like to go now? Um. Hmm. I'd like to try to go back to the beginning where the portals were. Roll a wisdom check. 19. You focus and you think on back to the beginning and eventually you do in fact find yourself in one moment. Um, <laughs> you find yourself here. And is this the oh. young lady you're looking for? That's the one. Yeah. <sighs> Where go? We're, Dad is coming to pick us up, Amira. So she's not dead, I told you. I'm surprised you made it past all those mimics. Well, it was not easy. Where's... We're full of surprises, Mr. Kanan. Hmm. <sighs> I'm sure of that. Now, you didn't touch anything or take anything that didn't belong to you, did you? Well, she would be truthful. I did find this gem, which helped me survive. I'll take that. <clears throat> I know, she would be truthful yeah, though. Yeah, no, no, I, Lozo would be too. It's, it's fair. <clears throat> I didn't even add it to my inventory, so it's like I already knew. <laughs> He puts it back in his cloak. All right, then, let's get going. Uh, I think, well, I suppose here is as good as a place as any. If that angel's gonna get out, it's gonna have to come through here. Johnny freed some sort of angel thing that we had to now fight, otherwise the entire multiverse is gonna die. He what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> No. We, need to help. we kill the big angel that's, thing. That's, that's the clip we got for next far. week. <laughs> Johnny did all this. Don't worry about it. What? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
All right. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. That's all we were well, given. While we wait here, what are behind all these doors? Now, these are different portals to different layers of the multiverse. Uh, the Nine Hells, what? the Abyss. Uh, in case I need to get from place to place, uh, different trades and businesses I'm involved in. You have to understand, I'm a pretty busy guy. Old. Can we use these? Uh, if you Can wish, we? I don't mind. Uh, one take but to the material we do plan. have to deal with our angel friend because if he escapes through one of these, uh, he's probably going to destroy the multiverse as I've already covered quite clearly. Mm. Is there a way um, to stop him from being able to make it here? I know that you have incantations that make it quite hard to do, traverse this This is place. the only place we know he's going to go in the tower. Eventually, he has to come through here. It's the only way to escape. Now, if we prepare ourselves, uh, I, I think su sufficiently with my help, uh, you all will be able to manage uh, against him. You're not going to throw another fireball in an enclosed space, are you? That uh, that was a controlled blast, and I did give you ample time to clear the space, did I not? If, you you if did. help you with this, could you help us with something? Uh, that depends. What is exactly that you need? We're looking for a book. A book. You're going to need to be more specific. It's a book that will help a necromancer become a lich. Ha! Uh, I... That's a fool's errand, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, that's fine, but... If but if that's you what it, you're after, that's that's fine with me. I, I have several. I can lend you one. Uh, it just... Uh, just let us deal with this and uh, I'll get one for you off one of my shelves. We pick one. No, I'll pick one that's suitable for your needs. George, does it matter if it is the vial? You have no idea. You know that the book you're looking for has the vial apotheosis in it. You don't know if that's specifically what they're after. Oh. Okay, so it could it could just be a book for Lichdom, and that would be enough? We it might be. Know. She might be looking uh, for something specific. Okay. Yep. Well, at least we have that as a guarantee. And then, one last request. This yes. Would not, it, if we needed to escape the Nine Hells at a later time, would, be able, would we be able to return here? Uh, possibly. I'm, I'm a very busy man. If I'm in the neighborhood, I wouldn't mind allowing you access through the tower. But as I said, I, I am quite busy preserving the balance of the multiverse. So I, I cannot make any, pro I'm not, uh, uh, what, what the kids might call an Uber, as you might say. <laughs> that's an Uber. <laughs> Never mind. That's cannon. from a different multiverse. You wouldn't understand. Oh. Anyway. Is there a way um, to contact you? So let's get prepared for this uh, fight then. He just completely ignores your question. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys like to do? I was going to ask if there is anything he could provide us to, you know, if this thing is all powerful and that even he needs help. Just really, I think the most important thing is that you guys just uh, don't die and absorb some punches. Oh. And you're you're the defense. You understand? Uh, just um. Uh, oh great! You have some... I, I'm just, I'll be the quarterback in this situation. Is that is that is, clear? Is there some armor in in one of these rooms that I could yeah, make use of? Then can, uh... I have some demon armor downstairs if you want it. Well, that could be a nice upgrade. <laughs> sure. Do you want the demon armor? He describes it as demon armor. That's literally what he calls it. Is there some sort of catch? We've no, already met I mean, a demon boat. It, it's it's only weak against demons, but fortunately we're not fighting any of those. And you're probably not going to run into a lot of those in the Nine Hells, so. That's the only effect it has. 
well, it's, it's it's more superior. It's a very strong armor, but uh, weak against demons. That's kind of the catch. Oh, yes, yeah, so I could I can make use of a, of a couple pieces of it. Okay. He I'll will like quickly armor, pop you downstairs, and you can add the demon armor. You do notice that the boots and greaves are missing. The Sorry. gauntlet. <laughs> ah. mm. <laughs> the rest of it should work just fine for you. Hmm. I, mind you, I'm not going to give you any penalties for the pieces that are missing. Plus, yeah. you could just supplement your own pieces of armor while, for that. While mm. they're quickly bopping down there, Amir Bop. would turn to Loza and be like, are you okay with this? No, I am not okay with this. But I don't really have a choice. Morton can oh, basically... An or, or else we have to stop this wizard. This high... Mm -hmm. freaking whatever he labeled himself as. Archmage. Archmage. I have an idea of how we can stop them without killing them, but I don't know if it'll work. Stop well, who? The angel. Oh. I think I know what you're referring to, but out of character. Uh, well, if you can help, I suppose. I know that he was in a summoning circle or a holding circle that Mordenkainen made and we can't do that anymore so now we just have to kill it but if there is a way to stop it I think that would be a better solution Without I'm sorry you have mm. to do this alright how's that fit fit good um I think it's too heavy is it like wearing like it, do I get to wear it as half plate or uh, is it like... I I will let you wear it as half plate. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I will just not have the detriment. I, I guess I need to figure out what I need to do to modify it. Uh, or... I'll modify it for you. It's fine. Uh, just uh, yeah. For any strength and dexterity plate. checks, then yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Cool. I will. I will just keep that in mind for my rolls. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. All right then. You guys wait here. And then up the stairs, eventually, after clearing through several other rooms, quite violently. Those poor rooms. Uh, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Those poor rooms. Um, oh, those rooms. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. And the angel arrive. Poor thing. Loras! Oh, hey. hey, everyone. Well, Johnny, get away here. from that thing. Man, More than friend, he's, he's been... He's been kicking ass. Neat. You will not <laughs> stop me on my quest, mortal. Sorry. You all ready for this? Um, can I cast darkness immediately on it? You guys can all roll initiative in just one second. I'm ah. going to set up the encounter. <laughs> Johnny, like, well, you'll have to decide what you want to do as we go. What's happening? <laughs> Johnny has no idea. <laughs> I, I just like, dude, we have this amazing angel who can kick ass to everyone we need. This is perfect. <laughs> I, know. I know. Of course, George won't let us keep him. He won't let us keep him. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can keep him. We just have to kill Morton Kane. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just have to kill every other NPC that I minorly disagree with. I could just let Morton Kane die. <laughs> the angel kill him. You're like, oops, <laughs> wasn't us. <laughs> well, we tried. All right, no, initiative. Johnny, what's that. yours initiative? Oh, sorry, I forgot to roll. I was too excited. I was too dumbfounded. Uh, my initiative is 15. 15, 22 for Mouser. Holy crap. Amira. At 20. Four. Four. <laughs> four. Oh my god. <laughs> Morden Kanan. Well, that's bad. Morden Kanan rolled a three. Oh. <laughs> Just assume all this rolls. Top of the first. round. Mouser, what would you like to do? God damn it. Why, why did he have to ro roll so poorly? Um, I guess we'll use a, um, I should have asked what you were thinking of. 
Um, you gonna cast darkness? Yeah, I'm gonna use Vile Fan to to cast darkness. Um, so you can cast it where the angel's standing, if that's what you want to do. Yes, I want to like effectively like be able to buy it, like buy us some time, um, and basically say like everyone spread out. Okay, one moment. And mm. I guess that, that that does use my spell. So you cast it. Uh, do you want to get everybody in it, or do you want to just get the angel in it and not you guys? Just the angel and Johnny. All right. There we go. That. They are in darkness. <laughs> I told you to get away from it when you showed up. I, I literally walked upstairs and said, hey, everyone. And then you know, <laughs> he cast darkness on me. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, is that your turn? Um, I can only cast one spell per turn, right? Yes. Yes. Unless okay. it's a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yes, it's... Uh... Otherwise, I would also do mage armor, but um, I guess I will move to the to the right hallway, like the the entrance there. Uh, no, down one, at six or three o'clock. Yeah, uh, like the the just the entrance, effectively. So okay, yep. cool. Uh, next up, Johnny, you're suddenly in darkness, cast by your brother. Mouse, what the fuck, man? <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> He's a. We can use him. We we can work with him. I'm just like trying to shout over, and I'll just kind of hold my action. Okay, hold your action until what? Until I see like them. I guess make an action. Like I, I don't know what they're doing. You'll right now. defend the angel of... if you can see it. Is that what you're saying? Not necessarily. I I basically waiting to see what the hell is happening. I don't know. Like, okay. I I wouldn't make a decision until I saw something happen. Okay, the diva. Um, the diva will rush out. Hey, of... that we're great. Hey, friend. Nice. Thank, you hey, thank, hey, you. thank you for the ray. Hey, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, thanks for the two rays, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The diva yeah, rushes forward. Good and pummels Morden Caden. Uh for let's see, that's gonna hit. Um That's a lot of D8s. Um Let's uh, that's gonna be That's going to be 22, um, 22, yeah, 22 bludgeoning damage to Morden Kanan, uh, as he strikes him, uh, and then he raises his mace again to strike him again, uh, and that one also hits. Morden Kanan oh. takes 40 damage. Holy shit. Guys, I think is he's on the wrong side. He is still up. He gets pummeled back into the wall. Ugh! as this angel like pummels him twice. You see it deflecting off of his arcane shield. Uh, Amira, your turn. I would like to walk through the darkness behind the angel, uh, directly behind. And I would just say, I'm sorry. And I want to use my iron bands of binding. Okay, you throw these bands. Uh, what's the, I believe when you throw it, uh, it has to make a saving throw. Yes, yeah, so it has to make a DC 20 strength check. All right. Um, one moment. Um, oh, you have to make a ranged attack roll. Uh, you can add oh. your dexterity and your proficiency bonus. So how do I roll that? Just D20 plus dex plus proficiency. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll a D20. Mm -hmm. 14 plus my dex is one and my, what was the other one? Proficiency. Proficiency, so 17. That's just enough. You hit the angel and the angel is suddenly bound in iron bands. 
Um, Whoa. Damn. Whoa. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where Don't is feel the... good about it. <laughs> oh, but that's still pretty bad. Actually. Uh, <laughs> the the ball comes flying out of the darkness, hits him, and it's kind of like that uh, that weird metal jacket that was in um, that was in uh, uh, Doctor Strange. It like wraps around him, contorts his arms back, and chains just start grabbing every muscle of his body and pulling him taunt. Um, Loza, your turn. I just stand in front of the diva and I say, I'm so sorry for what must be done. This is not something I am doing by choice. You oh, are yeah. making a choice. Do not <laughs> deny it. Fast. You can work with me. We can you. purge evil from this multiverse once and for all. Why do you do this to me? This hurts my soul on so many levels. <sighs> I looked at Mordenkainen and- oh Search God. your feelings and know it to be true. Search your feelings. I look- I look to Mordenkainen. Must this be done? Please. Uh, do I really have to explain the balance of the multiverse again? Really? Uh, look, those bands aren't probably gonna hold them for long, so let's just make this quick. I'm just going to hold my action and just look at the diva in front of me and do nothing. You watch as Morden Kanan fires a lightning bolt at seventh level at the diva, shocking him through his core. Ah! It screams in agony as let's see uh seventh level that would be um mm, 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 86 plus 8 9 10 11 12 d6 one moment i need to actually use the roller for this 46 lightning damage to the diva Uh, that brings us to Mouser, your turn. Um, let's see here, he's out of... I guess I would take... I would cast Mage Armor on myself. Actually, yeah. Or Armor, Armor of, uh, Agathus. Okay. You cast Armor of Agathus on yourself just in case this thing gets loose. Johnny, you hear the I mean... angel scream in pain from the outside of this darkness what would you like to do i'll try to to i guess move forward through the darkness to try to find you know try to get you out. you almost it. bump into loza and you see the angel is bound in these iron chains being electrocuted by morden canaan i just reach over like i grab Loza, like what are we doing he was, he's on our side just just at, trying to figure out what the hell is going on looking for an explanation i we have to do this or the Deva will bring off his legions here and then the demons will reign according to Mordenkainen, according to him. Is that what he told you? Yes. This man him. profits from war across the multiverse. The only thing he cares about is keeping everyone uneven, keeping everyone needing him. Who are you to say that you know? <laughs> because I'm from. His blood is like my blood. We're from the same origins. Of course, I trust him. So what do both of you do? <laughs> uh, 
The diva uh, will roll a strength check to try to get out of his binds. That's a nat one. Ooh. Uh, uh. Johnny will just like get on his knees and like put his sword down and just start screaming, like just going into a, a, a fit of rage, not really understanding or knowing what he wants to do, just yelling it as loud as he can and 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 he'll he'll look back up at like Loza and Mouser and just say it's like what do we do? I I I, I failed could... I failed you. I'm sorry Johnny. If you could help we could make this a little bit more painless for him. And uh... Amira, what would you like to do? I would like to uh I'd like to detect thoughts on Morgan kind of. And I want my my goal here is to understand the situation. There's <laughs> pensive mode, like <laughs> detect thoughts on the, the most powerful archmage. I know, <laughs> I know, but I'm hoping with my background maybe it'll give me a little bit of a boost there i'm not doing it maliciously but like you and, attempt and, and to detect round. thoughts and it would appear that he is protected by some type of spell Rip. that actually protects him from any attempts of mind reading okay even my 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 even your thing one? yeah okay. Ooh. Okay, can I instead reflect it onto the angel? Because that's... You want to, like, read the angel's thoughts? Yeah. The angel entirely believes everything he's saying to the fiber of his being. No role necessary. Okay. Yeah, well, that's my, that's my turn. Loza, what would you like to do? Um, I, I have nothing. I, I too will just like feel the soul crushing defeat of what is about to be done. And I will just go to my knees, drop my weapon and drop my shield and just admit defeat in this situation. No! Another lightning bolt hits the angel. Uh, and I'll roll that again. <laughs> that one will be for 11d6. Forty-four lightning damage. Probably one more of those, and he's gone. It's so wrong. I hate it. What was it wrong? But we need him. Mouser, we both anything you would like to do? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm going to stay true to my word and say that we would help. I'm helping. And I'm going to. And I'm going to attack the 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 diva. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Action. Yes. Says your sword. Only a 12, though. 12. Uh, actually, you have advantage because he's completely oh. restrained. Try that again, then. A 23. And that'll hit. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> um, oh, I guess. Oh, shit. I, I should have used the. Uh, or wait. The, isn't there something else I was supposed to use with the attack? After hitting a creature with a melee attack, you may use one or more charge to inflict an extra 2d6. Or do I have to, like, use the charge for Raven's Claw before I roll? No. That's okay. that's part of it. Yeah. Okay. So I will, I will use... So I'll, I'll swing damage plus the extra 2d6. So... Um... 2d6 plus... Wait, what? But, but less? So it should have been 2d6 plus six from Vile Fan, plus an extra from the Demon Armor. 
Okay, hold on. So we'll roll slashing. Um, plus 2d6. Um, gosh, D&D, come on. What? Did it roll the thing? What? Shorty rolled for me. It's a 12. Okay. It, it, no, the, the first roll? Or is uh, it? Yeah, I, I see it. It's 12. Okay, so there's yeah. a, there's that, but I need to roll the 2d6 as well. So. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, it one, showed up on the six. game log. It just didn't output to uh, Discord. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the dice on this, on, on this or it's something. Fun. Um... And then in bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls. Wait, so I get plus one to bonus attack. Just roll the 2d6. Just... Okay, yeah, okay, fine, fine. Sorry, I was like looking to make no, sure I'm okay. getting the most on my demon armor too. Uh, 2d6. 11. 11, okay. So that's uh, 20... 23? Yep. All right. You strike the angel in the back. Uh, you see blood come from down its white wings uh, as it screams in agony. It will... Uh, Johnny, would you like to do anything? This might be your last chance. Uh, we could have used him. He was so strong. <laughs> At this point, like, looking, I, do I see that he's basically, like, defeated? If nothing's done, he will be. I mean, he hit Morden Kanan, like, Morden Kanan dropped to half his health okay. in one blow. Bam. <sighs> but in the state he's in now, unless he breaks out of those binds. Good shit, Amira. I know, if she didn't have the... Hey, good thing you can give him back to Morden Kanan like you gave him back the other stuff. <laughs> um... Our little secret. <laughs> I figured he would forgive me, right? Johnny, Johnny will just look up at the the angel and say, I, "I'm sorry, I I have to follow my friends, and I'll, I'll just stay, just just looking." You at him follow and... them into oblivion, and the angel breaks the chains off of himself. Ah! They shatter all over him, and he continues to rush towards Morning Cannon. Uh, unfortunately, that's his action to escape. He rushes with all of his fury to try to strike Morning Cannon. Uh, Amira, Loza, is there anything you want to do? No. <laughs> I want to unleash the giant bad. <laughs> Do nothing. He makes the save on the lightning damage, so he's only going to take uh. half. Uh, but that is still a lot, so let's see. That will be 10d6. <laughs> This is like Congress Godzilla. I'm just like, let them fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's hit. He flies oh, straight he's up he's... to avoid it. He's about, uh, he's about 40 feet up in this large vaulted ceiling, but he's preparing to come down hard on Morgan Kanan with his mace. Mouser, what would you like to do? Oh, yeah. oh I can't like Misty Step as a bonus act. Missy Step is a bonus action. Is it a bonus action? Yep. Yes. Ah, uh, then yeah, I guess I want to... Can I try and... Actually, hold on, see what is this? Uh, um... Mm, but I would, I would be, I would fall right the fuck back down. 40 feet's a lot. Um... Wait, wait, did he, he, did he flew up? Do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, yes, you do. It will not be at advantage. That's fine, though. 23. 23 this hits. Man, this man's uh, another charge. Roll damage. So... And once again, Vilefan will let you know that you can also throw him. 
I can. Oh, remember. Oh, that's right. Um, am I able to expend the chart another charge of vile fan on this damage too? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! So do this. Hold the two d six as well. So there was a twelve, and then did it roll the extra two d six? It did not. Or now wait, that's my mess. Yeah, so there's twelve plus. Close. 1, you take, that's another 12, so 24 damage. You, as he goes to fly up, you rake your blade across his back, severing one of the wings. The angel goes into a tailspin, slams into the wall, and falls to the ground. Let me feed. Oh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> that's the plan. You um, let go of the blade then, and suddenly a pack of ravens descends on Loras, and he is ripped apart by Vilefan. You delivered the final blow. I want you to remember this. I just saved the multiverse while you did nothing. So you, you stood, you sat there and cried while I did. the multiverse by killing a good creature. High five. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable being in the middle right now. <laughs> I've secured for us an ally that will give us a way out after we have no way out of here. Loras would have been a good ally. Mount Celestia is right down that hallway in that door. Well, that's it's one way take. to deal with it. The door is right there. I made an oath to help all of you. And that's why I'm sticking to it. Help. Look, uh, if you all need some private time to talk this out, that's fine. Uh, I'll be back you, in my study. War criminal. We agree. Oh, the criminal. pack weapon <laughs> came undone. I should have had more if damage. If I had a nickel, if I had a nib for every time I heard that, Look, uh... Kyan, you promised you would help us. I did, in there fact, was uh, promise. Uh, you said you needed the vile apotheosis, right? Yes. yes. All right, uh, just come with me then. And he leads you down into his library. His library, the full library, is massive. Oh. There are books oh, all, <laughs> all over the places, uh, all over the place. As, as he's looking, seen, she's like touching all the spines of the. You should have seen the smaller one, like oh my god, <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, like, uh, let me see. Like, uh, a couple thing. This might be what you're looking for. Now he's looking at various tomes, and as he is, Johnny. Mm, let me see. What's all of your passive perceptions? 11. Uh, 11. Where is that? Oh, uh, left side. Senses. 14. Wait. Which one did you say? Passive. Which one? Perception. Perception. 11. Loza, you notice a book which lies, uh, encased off to the side and it looks quite special it looks it's a black book it looks like it's bound with uh this kind of dark leather uh and give me one moment i'll actually pull up a image of it what's in the book it's the necronomicon nope uh give me one moment the book looks like uh, 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 one second I gotta go back go back here it is book looks like this oh well, that's a book <laughs> <laughs> what do your green eyes see <laughs> I can't see anything but I could hear the book <laughs> 
calls to me. Um, I assume I sense a great evil on this book because it just looks evil. From what you can see, make an arcana check. Because there's bits and pages uh, nine. bleeding out of it. Not very good. You see the book has lots to do with demons. And you're not able to make much of it, but from what you can gather, this book can control such things. Or at least that's a lot of its subject matter. Well, I'm not going to do anything about it, but maybe while Mordenkainen, if I notice him, you know, being busy uh, looking through books, I'm going to find a moment to gesture to Amira uh, and like, I'll be like, there's a really shiny book over there that I think has some She said, demons. she just had to say shiny book. It's like a bloodhound. <laughs> Smell that? <laughs> Smells like bound paper. <laughs> you race over there and you see it. The book appears to be bound with demon skin. Now, George, considering yes. I'm from Candlekeep and I was doing a lot of research on demonology in itself, would I know what this book is? You believe this is the mythic demonomicon of Igwilf. It's pretty close. Okay. Can you say it one more time? I want to write it down. The demonomicon of Igwilf. Demonomicon. Um, I mean, I don't think I would take it, but I very much like try to read like the notes sticking out of it and stuff. As you're looking through it, you hear Morden Kanan. Uh, yes, I, I believe here it is. Uh, Librum soul and flesh, uh, Librum of souls and flesh. And he pulls uh, out a wait. book. When he turns to look at me, can he just see like Amir's like nose press against the glass, just like trying to read this, just like. <gasps> Do you want him to see that? What? I can't look at the book. I'm not touching to you. It. Yeah, sure. Think he'd... Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at it. I'm not like reading it. I'm fascinated by it, you know. Uh, no, that's you don't need to worry about that over there. This is what you're looking for. And the book he holds up is Librum, Soul, uh, Librum of Souls and Flesh, which does have a lot of necromancy in it. But to be honest, you've seen this book before. And it's not what we're looking for? It, it might be, but you've seen a copy of it in Candle Keep before. Would I think to ask for a different book is what I'm really getting into. Uh, up to you. And this one has vile, uh, a vile apotheosis in it? Yeah, it's got the vile apotheosis, animate dead, circle of death, uh, pretty much summon undead, things like that. It can do all sorts of necromancy. This is what you want, I'm pretty no. sure. No. Didn't, he, didn't you say we needed one that helped her turn to a lich? That's what the vile apotheosis is. Oh. Okay. But it's like, he didn't list that off, did he? No, he said like, it yeah, has the vile apotheosis in it. it. It's oh, in this book. other things. Yeah. An assortment of other apotheoses. Um, could I, could I read anything from those little notes, by the way? Uh, yeah, make a perception check. 17. You gather much as Loza did. There are bits in there about controlling demons, bending them to your will, <clears throat> enslaving them, uh, essentially how to deal with them. Even beings you imagine, even beings such as Orcus can be <gasps> subdued with this book. Morning, Kynan. Yes. As you may have noticed, um, I had something taken away from me. Do you know how I could possibly reverse that? It has to deal with Orcus, and I feel this book might help. 
Well, if you had issues with Orcus, your best bet is the Divine. They can probably get rid of those kind of things. Too bad we just killed an angel, but... Uh, Did you just say the Divine can help us? Well, normally, yeah, they, they kind of deal with things involving and angels. Whenever I need you, uh, to upset you, a demon, I usually go through them. You dare say that after just killing one. Well, the one we killed was trying to upset the balance of the multiverse. You have to understand, I'm very picky and choosy about the ones I work with and the ones I don't. Could you recommend us one? Uh, to be honest, uh, I mean, I can take you up to the Nexus. You can go to uh, Mount Celestia or Elysium if you want. We will not show <clears throat> our faces in Mount Celestia after what we just did. Absolutely not. You didn't do shit. We won't? <laughs> no. Stares at you with blindfold. <laughs> no, we just contributed to destroying one of their people, one of their chosen. Honestly, that happens all the time. I wouldn't really be too broken up about it. I can't. Lose is very upset. <laughs> we'll find a way to get your eyes here, back. Though, now. Did you hear me? I, I said, the, could the answer be in here now, though? Oh, what? That those are the writings of Idwill. You, you don't you, look. That's all stuff you wouldn't possibly understand. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't you worry do. about that at all. Well, yeah, but that's you know. I, I'm I'm making my way through. I'm a very busy man. You understand. But look, uh, the that's tome lovely. you were looking for here, Librum of Souls and Flesh. That's will be what you're looking for. Nice try. And I, yeah, I don't think did he hear? Did you hear me, George? What? <laughs> I said. So it's above you. <laughs> Roll a. <laughs> you can choose persuasion, intimidation, or deception. Because this is a little bit of all three. <laughs> I roll yes. <laughs> a combination roll. of all three. I'm going to do intimidation. But nope, was not intimidating at all. That oh one. my god. Didn't even hear what you. Are you saying it, it, you can't do it? <laughs> <laughs> There's a try. Oh my god. I wanted to be like, oh, so you can't do it. And then you'd be like, of course I can. And be like, well, then you can't do it. Uh, okay. Um, but I'll say this to you, Amira. You're like so sure, like that's the book. I know. That's like... the book you need. What? This a, a necromancer in the nine hells? What the fuck is she gonna do with librams of souls and flesh? What does that have that she doesn't already possess? No way to get this book, though. Um, Mordenkainen, please. I need this book. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Good luck. <laughs> Ten. Wish I had inspiration. I don't. Young lady, uh, I would. I would not trust you with that book any more than I would trust you with uh, uh, the, the balance to... of the multiverse. Look, just here, I take Librams of Souls and Flesh. Once you get through it, you can come back to me and, and we'll, we can talk. Us. We're helping a friend, remember? It's not for her. Well, I don't know who this friend is. And quite frankly, uh, yeah, I wouldn't go handing out uh, poorly written manuscripts from Tasha of all people to just anybody all right so trust me librams of souls of flesh is what you need it, is it Amira it's not <sighs> please you, you, you trusted her with those bindings that I'm sure you knew she had those we bindings you take down... which because of her were broken yeah because uh, of I'm gonna have the to diva those, were broken you know. and saved your life we had it well under control, my friend. We did he threw you into a wall in an instant. Oh, please. I've dealt with rougher scrapes than that. Think a diva's gonna do in Morden Canaan? Please. No, I'm just saying that our that her efforts 
our efforts should show you that we're trustworthy with this. Roll a persuasion check. It's party assist, please. <laughs> This is not not that helpful. I must insist. And he kind of scooshes you all towards the exit. I don't know what else to do in order to. Please, sir. Actually, as he escorts us out, do we see where we are? Yeah. You're in his massive library. He's kind of bringing you up to a staircase. I mean,. Do we know how to get back here? Is my question. Like, is this part we of the? We know what room to think about. Yeah, like, is this room part of his weird maze, or is it its own yes. separate thing? Obviously. It's part of it. Okay. Okay. Last chance. You guys are being led to the exit. Anything you guys want to do? Johnny Loza. Please, all the time, sir. all the times you guys want to talk. Now's the time. We need this book. I am on a very important quest, and we need this to fulfill our quest. You can refuse. I've made an oath to these persuasion people. or intimidation. Um, I'm really annoyed with him, so I'm going to use intimidation. <laughs> I've, I've had it up to here. Oh, it's an eight. I've had it up to here with Warden Kyan. He casts silence as you're talking. <laughs> right this way. Right this way. Johnny, do you want to try for persuasion? Uh... Johnny, you got to speak. Nothing. <laughs> Can I talk or no? There's He casts silence. Other than and himself, everyone... who he's... Uh, very uh, conveniently left free of the spell. You guys, are, come on, let's I go. Uh, nothing more to see here. Anything. Say what? I can't. Even, I can't even speak to him in his mind or anything. Oh uh, yeah, you could try to speak to him. Well, no, because remember, yeah, he has that yeah. device preventing you from having that kind of connection with I just him. Wanna, I just want to ask if he could at least cast like an illusion on the book <laughs> to make it look like that one. Uh, as you guys get to the exit, you can attempt to do that. Is there anything else you guys want to do as you're walking with this silent spell over you all? Uh, I would I would put my arm around Mouser and I would just be looking like extremely like sad, disappointed, like just like beaten down, just not looking like the normal Johnny. I... Okay. I... I'm, <laughs> I'd be sitting there trying to talk to Vilethan and asking him how 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 he's doing now that his, uh, he's had a chance to feed on such a powerful enemy. Vilethan feels great and in fact tells you privately and I'll, I'll message you actually. Mm-hmm. Um... Is Mordekainen a fiend or an undead? No. He is human. Okay. What were you, why were you asking? <gasps> because I was about to channel divinity him. <laughs> All right. I would not want to fight him. I have no spell slots left. Nick, all you have to do is tell me if that's what you want to do. The thing is, I'm not sure if Vileton is just being being sure of himself here. And knowing and already seeing that there's been other uh, precautionary measures taken within the tower. That's why I'm hesitant on it. And that's why I, I... 
Like if it was more than just like Vile Thin just being like, oh, I can take care of it. Like that that that's that's why I asked the follow up because if it's if it's something more than just like leave it to me. Um, he's saying with him it is possible. You can choose to take that chance or not. No, right now, he's our only way out. Okay. You guys make it to the exit. Very well. Uh, I suppose that will suffice then. Can I talk now? Yeah. Okay. Could you at least put an illusion on this to make it look like that book? <laughs> Well, if you insist, but uh, if this person you're giving it to is of a mage of any renown, they'll probably see through it, but uh, I don't see why not. Could you make it powerful enough that it would seem completely true until a certain time? Roll a persuasion check. Ah. Uh. Having these 13. Shitty I know. I'll go ahead and put a aura on it so that they can't tell it's an illusion. That's the best I can do. And so the book, he enchants it. It so now idea, looks yeah. like the Demonomicon. And then he puts a secondary enchantment, uh, Nistel's magical aura, which will protect it from. It'll essentially make it look like it has no illusion magic on it. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Morton Cannon, don't forget who cleared out your tower. You should be thanking us more than this. Young man. He's given us permission to use his portal. The things you killed in, in that tower were very important experiments. Do you, you know how hard it is to get a Goristro in a cage? You know how easy it is to let him out? <laughs> is that what that thing was? It nearly killed Noza! It's you let out two things? <laughs> Have yeah, a good day, everyone. One of the things I let out killed the other thing I let out. So. He goes back down the stairs, leaving you in the nexus, oh, and the works. stairs sh shut close, like latches appear on top uh. of it, closing it. You guys are in the nexus. Just the four of you. Like you, Nexus. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? Hey, spot the down. <laughs> I look to Johnny and I say, I'm sorry, Johnny. I. We could have used, we could have worked with. I know. And he would, we could have killed an arch devil. We could have gotten rid of all of our problems with him. I know. Uh, we could have taken care of Mahadi. Based off of what? Based off of him, he would have killed Morden Kanan without those bands. Yes, but that's that's Morden Kanan. But what about every every other threat? You say he could take care of everything we also else. Need to be mindful of what would happen to this tower if Morden Kanan was no more. It's not what about our, simple. What about the portals? Our way home. Hmm. Well, this tower I, I is entirely this, powered by him. This diva also had an army, so I think we could have figured it out. Oh, so the, the the possibilities of a way home are much better than a way home. What are you talking about? We still only have the possibilities of a way home. He said if he's around, he would help us. Yeah. You know how long those those devils down there were waiting for him? Apparently months and years. So better than a non-existent. Like we know he comes back here. We have a we have this permission to use the portals while he's here. Oh, so Even if it takes months. Something. Let me ask you something. Are we in a better spot now than we were before we got here? Not really. Is this, are we a step closer to finding my family? Amiro no. just points at his hands. <laughs> Cause he's got the gauntlets on. <sighs> and then I'm she points like, to the armor. Just yeah, with, with a flourish, just like, yes, points, I think we are. And then she points to Loza <laughs> with the fucking iron, the rod thing. And she's like, well, we have the book. Loza, has the, Loza doesn't have the rod anymore because she left it at the mimic. What? 
It, it was no, a mirror no, that no. you mirror you had no, it. No, I did. I left. No, that. she has. She's the, using uh, it to gesture to her. I don't, I don't think this javelin does. Does this javelin actually oh, yeah, do anything? Javelin. It and does the sword. When you have the other two. Oh well. Oh good. I'm just gonna throw it. Honestly, I don't even care. I hate this. Got a ring. I, <laughs> I I'll, I'll pick it up and put it in so the bag sad. of holding. This I makes me him. so sad. I was like, this is such a cool javelin fucking web. Like, you get all three, and like it does like this lightning arc. Player takes one of them, throws it away. <laughs> I'm just like, God. no. That's uh, fine. Did, also, he had a ring in that room. Is that ring anything? The ring okay. is a ring of lightning resistance. Oh, well, that's. I should have slipped it on. <laughs> yeah, I put it, I should have put it on. I'm just saying we are, we're nowhere closer to defeating. I think we are. Multiple devils. We we're we're fine. We we have a way to potentially get. Um, I already forgot her name, but. Uh, Feanor. We have a chance to get Feanor to the table to help with Mahadi, which can help, which can help. Loza here get her sword back. And then what? Then we can... And then we're not killing Mahadi, if that's what you're trying to say, because it's not happening. I would like to visit the Mountain of Angels. We can go. The portal, the portal is right is through one of these doors. We were given permission to use them. Well, something Morning Canaan said to me that actually did, Dick, was that you have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. So we may have to do some not so pure of heart things to get where we need to get to fulfill the oath we gave him our word that we would help take care of it welcome to hell i guess demi do you understand where i was coming from he big strong guy promises big strong powers he didn't promise big strong powers Emma, he was real powerful he oh but like <laughs> random <laughs> diva <laughs> Lowe's, are, are, I'm gonna, John is going to put his hand on Lowe's forehead. Are you, are, are you okay? What are you talking about? Unpure things? Like, Did you see everything else he had locked up in this tower? The hags, the succubi, every other bad thing that we ran into? That other thing you freed that tried to kill all three of us, I'm assuming? Regardless, she's like going to get between them and be like, regardless, what's done is done. We can only move forward. And I'm nowhere closer to my family. We all aren't. This isn't going to be solved overnight. This was one step to the solution of at least reuniting Loza with her, you know, divine sword that it, it means so much to her. Yes, it goes out of the way, but it's to help those that are helping us on this journey, Johnny. Like you saw what she can do with with her wings and everything, but imagine what she can do with her divine sword with it. That's what we're we're trying to help her as she helps us with all of our other issues. Imagine what she could have done. Put a hand on. Oh, could he could he could he have provided the book? Could he have navigated this tower? The you mean the book that Amira says isn't useful? <laughs> and then Johnny's just gonna shake his head and just walk away toward the portal where he came from. Which portal are we taking? The portal that we came through is the is the one to the um, what is that? Bottom left. Yeah, bottom left, like yeah, south, south uh, west. But oh, is you that said you wanted to go to, heading? You wanted to go yeah. to Mount like Celestia. Amira would put her hand on Loza's shoulder because she knows that that was a really horrible thing for her to go through. <laughs> I feel like is that where you want to go? Well, do you want to go her? follow them back into hell? Yeah, I would say we like yeah. we just took a moment where yeah. I would just put my hand on her shoulder I, and look at her and just kind of like understand. I feel like I'm failing everywhere. One of my oaths is to bring those two brothers together and look at how they're fighting, and I didn't do anything to help. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> is this the best? I don't know. Like failure. Yesterday or the other day, I let you make a deal with a demon. Just no. nothing's going right, Mira. 
Nothing's going right. We'll figure it out. We have to. And just like that, you guys step into the portal, back into hell. <laughs> you find yourselves at the base of the tower. And as you guys approach the boat, there's Rigel. Oh, you're all back. Wonderful. Oh, so, so, Rigel. Uh, oh, Sitting him. on the <laughs> boat that you guys left behind. Uh, the boat's still there. <laughs> boat's still there. Okay. Uh, party boat. Party, party boat. You Yugoloths <laughs> are... Come on, Morty Kanan, we can, we, we need work. And suddenly, as you guys start to ride off on your boat, you see the Tower of Erm vanish, leaving just a cement slab where it once was. And with that, we end our session this week. We will find out what the party does next week. And, well, actually, next week we'll be taking a break, but then we'll be back uh, the following Friday to continue our adventure into the Nine Hells, into Avernus. Did Amira, Morden, Kate, and I level up? The four of you do level up. Yay. I fought things with, with my friend. You guys went <laughs> through quite an ordeal. Uh, I feel like this was a great moment. Uh, a lot of challenges for you guys, a lot of character growth. Um, and yeah, you absolutely deserve to level up. Yee! Yee. Level four in hell. Level four. Level four. Now I'm just going to be emo for two weeks. <laughs> yep. I walk probably. a lonely road, the only one. <laughs> oh this guy, George, is going to hear me blasting Boulevard of Broken <laughs> Dreams from my room. The only I, one. I, I need to work I really hard and make sure that Tracy has a good time on Sunday's <laughs> session. <laughs> <laughs> because if she doesn't, I'm going to be listening oh, to God. emo stuff for the next week. <laughs> oh, no. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to be. I walk alone. <laughs> this is how we get copyright strikes. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, thank you all for watching. It's Just been a you. hell of a session. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we will continue on next week. Um, ha, 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 ha. See you all on Sunday for Ice Happy Sunday. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks for all the raids, everybody. If you're here for Thank the raids, you. Y'all are awesome. We should raid someone. Oh, Woo! yeah. <laughs>